Hello, everybody. My name is Mike, also known as Win5, get one free. And today we are back again by unpopular demand with another episode of New Amsterdam. Uh, so we are going to start with Devlin. Devlin, uh -huh. it's been like it's it's been like a day or two since you got that reconnaissance uh, done um, for uh, for the Scarlatis, right? And there's something that uh, has kind of been on your mind. See, while you were doing reconnaissance, you actually found a uh, spot in Canal Belt North. And that spot, or in Canal Belt South, rather. And that spot, which is currently in an active war zone, is called, or that spot in the active war zone happens to be, we are going to say, I should probably open up Roll20 on my side, what a good DM I am. Um, we're going to say it is... God damn it. Pure... It is a pure you clinic. And you know that your current boss, his records are held on the pure you mainframe. Or the pure you mainframe. Ah, that's the detox place. Yes, yes. Um... And this offers a fairly interesting opportunity, which Shia would probably actually mention. She'd probably come up to you and be like, uh, Mr. Devlin, I uh, do have a, uh, I have a uh, idea. Go ahead, share. All right. So, currently, Canal Belt South, and let me... I accidentally logged into Fireshrike. Uh, so, currently in Canal Belt South, there's a bit of a war going on. And as far as I know, we don't have any jobs to be doing right now. One thing that is down there, though, is right down the main drag, there happens to be a pure Euclid. I think that maybe, if we were so bold, we could probably end up taking whatever is in it. Meaning a few important files about your uh, current employer. That would be fortuitous, yes. Hmm. Who do you think we should use for this? Well, probably the gang. They're all, or probably uh, everyone involved in Tartarus. They're going to be useful. Yeah, and I already, I, I, I'm already owed a favor by Hacker Hank for uh, the uh, canal job. True, true. Yeah, and she'd be like, we could call him okay, of course. Uh, and I'm sure anybody, uh, I'm sure anybody who's uh, involved with Tartarus would be, Tartarus would be, uh, would be happy to help for a little compensation. You think there's anything else there? Maybe something sellable? Oh, most definitely. Detox clinic like that? At the very least, they're going to have uh, some decent detox kits, which go for a pretty decent penny out on this market. Along with that, probably have some cash. Might even have some caches of data. Sounds like a good job to call everybody in on, yeah. Mm hmm. All right. Excellent. So, uh, do you? I'll, I'll get them all together. Yeah. Okay. Do you set? I'm assuming you probably set a uh, time and place to meet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where do you think that is? Like probably just Tartarus or something? Probably just Tartarus. Okay. Probably downstairs in Tartarus. You know, Spate's office. Yeah. Yeah. Um, definitely a, uh, definitely a good, uh, setup that, um, can easily be seen. So, uh, by you guys, sorry, I was just babbling there. Um, yeah, so, uh, all of you get the, uh, call, right? And probably, um, the first people to show up, uh, is Ricker, or Richter is probably, like, the first one to show up, other than, of course, your people. You know, 
And he'd uh, he'd he'd come in and be like, "Hey, heard that there was a job. Figured you could maybe use a gun hand." If he can ever hit anything, yeah, that would be useful. Yeah. Hmm. And uh, Richter has hit a few things. <laughs> he didn't hit you guys, but he hit some of his friends. Fair. Um. Was but he yeah, trying he, uh... to hit us when he hit his friends? No. This was after the turn. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, he kind of uh, leans up against a wall and pulls out his vape pen. And at this point, who would be the next one in the room, you think? Like out of us or just... Yeah, out of, of you guys. You? Oh, I'd probably be there. Yeah, scene? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, scene, you you come into the uh, the operating room and you see Richter is, you know, vaping or whatever, and uh, Devlin is there, and Amoke and uh, Shia are also there. Uh, Amoke probably is um, probably, like, cleaning a gun. Shia is going over some files. Hmm. I just, like, nod my head towards everyone. Yeah. Probably light up a cigarette. Yeah, when everybody else gets here, I'll talk more about the job. And uh, Spate, it's probably about this time you get into the room, uh, and you see smoking in your operating room is seen, <laughs> and Richter is vaping in your operating room. Really? In a secure medical facility? What? It's not in use right now. Yeah, but now I have to clean the walls and the ceiling from the freaking vapors from your cigarette. Oh, just use one of those little fancy UV lights or whatever they are. Burns everything away. I have my methods of removing. It's just a pain in the butt to do it. Yeah. I'll put out the cigarette on my boot. Fine. Yeah. Richter's like, eh, in for a penny, in for a pound. If you're already going to clean it, and he takes a huge fucking puff <laughs> of his vape. I roll my eyes. Yeah, I mean, you yeah. Can put the operating room in use right now, if you wanted to. Richter's like, oh, try me with like a big smile on his face as he like lifts up his shirt partially to show a combat knife. Hey, look, Spate, he's giving you a target. <laughs> Hank, uh, at this point, Hank probably walks in next to Deltrick and. Deltrick's like, he wanted to do it from the chair. He's going to meet us literally 30 feet away. He's going to do it in person. And Hank's like, hey, I just, I, I'm just telling you, I could be much more efficient with my communication if, and he's like, Hank, okay, fine. I'll play nice with everyone else. Um, and uh, yeah, so, uh, oh, I'm going to have to fix my webcam after this. I accidentally pulled. Yeah, yeah, I um, have to put my webcam back together. Give me one second. Yeah, Gunner's going to have to refresh his Discord thing because it's like Who, me? No, Gunner, on the stream. Oh, he'll he'll get it fixed in a second. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, he's currently... To, uh, to Spate giving a thumbs up, which is great because he's just constantly agreeing to everything we're saying. But I can't... Oh, see, yeah. Uh, I didn't see like, uh, Vico's camera anymore. It's just loading. Yeah, correct. I think he's relaunching. Hey, there we go. Better now. Yeah. Much better. better. Awesome. Um, yeah, and then um yeah, uh maybe like five, ten minutes pass, and like Lucky's still not there, right? Um so uh, you know, uh maybe um maybe uh at this point, um at this point, uh, what's her name? Uh, Shia is like, maybe we should uh, get on with the meeting and uh, Lucky will catch up with us. Yeah, probably. I mean, mm. you got to give her some leeway. She was just blown up. Yeah, kind of nods and goes, all right. So here's the lowdown. We've got, uh, we've got a, um, we've got a, uh, a building. We have to hit. We're going in for data extraction. 
and anything we can grab, make it look like a normal robbery. Uh, we've got, uh, we've got, uh, three means of egress. And, uh, let me switch to, I just realized we are going to need the map page gunner. Whoa! For now, I'll just do this little planning bit and we'll, uh, we'll get to the map screen whenever it's convenient. So she'll be like, uh, we're going to need, uh, so what we're looking at is a building. That looks about like this. There are there are three entrances. There's the main entrance. There is the back entrance, which is a garage. And there's also a skylight up top. So, way I see it, we have a few means of attack. We can either come in through the front door. Probably guns blazing. Of course, it is a war zone, so who's going to notice? We could sneak in through the skylight. Might have to worry about security measures and that sort of thing. Or we could come in through the garage door. That might even give us easy access to load something into the van, but I don't know what kind of security they have in the garage. Kind of looks at you guys and goes, Intel is pretty limited, mainly because we're on a... Uh, a little bit of a um, short notice. And it's at this point, uh, Lucky walks into the room. And Lucky, what are you looking like right now? Oh, Lucky is probably dressed in a black pantsuit, uh, yeah. complete with a wide brim hat and a jet black cane. She's got nice. sunglasses on even in the dark of here, and she's walking with a limp. Sails right. down through whatever stairwell, uh, gets to the bottom of here, steps in. Yeah. Sorry, what a miss. Uh, and Amoke's like... Or actually, you know what? You guys can respond to that if you'd like. We're gonna, apparently, rob ourselves a convenience store. Nope. No, in, no, no convenience it, store. It's a pure you clinic. It's Spade, you, you're pretty good at evaluating drugs, right? Yeah. I mean, it should be simple. Drugs are drugs. Drugs yeah. are bad, okay. Um, I can't get us transitioned over, but yeah, it would be best if we went took a short break for me to All do right. Uh, Sorry, will... folks, we're going to take half a second here to work out some technical problems. Oh, no, I just put us on ad break. Oh, oh. yeah, that's what I mean. Sick. One sec. Let's go out to the lobby. Hee <laughs> hee Delicious hot doggies. And get something to eat. All right. And ad break. All right, I just need. What's going on with your computer? What? Oh, I'm transitioning to. Transitioning oh, to it... the, to the map screen. Ah, is it taking a while? No, I have to. There, there's things I have to do to set up, and it just looks really unprofessional when I do it on the fly. Ah, oh, okay, right on. Sorry. I'm asking questions because I'm curious. You're good. I hope I didn't sound like I was getting snoopy. I'm not. No, 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 you didn't. I was just making sure you knew. Okay. Alrighty. Ten seconds. All right. Is there enough Irish in that coffee for you? Ooh, that's a lot of Irish in that coffee. I, uh, I thought you were pouring me a glass and the coffee. <laughs> so I took a big swig of coffee and went we back. All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, so um, back to as we were saying, um, I believe that we just had the question about uh, new you clinics and evaluating drugs. That's what we were on. Yeah, new use a, de a detox clinic, so they're going to have some good stuff. 
and uh, you'll be able to move it for us and evaluate a good price for them. Yeah, sounds simple enough. Now, Lucky, do you mention the potential for moving drugs that you found earlier? Or rather, that found you? I found one? Yeah. Uh, good old, um, good old uh, Narco. <laughs> no. Yeah, because if you're if you're uh, stealing drugs, you can think of one person who will most definitely buy them. Yeah, fuck him and his bitch ass. I mean, what? Uh... Hell yeah! That's the kind of combative energy we like to see out here. Uh, probably just kind of says, um, if you guys are in there, grab me. Uh, I don't know. If there's morphine in there. That'd be nice. She says, kind of brandishing her cane. Yeah. By the way, we'll has everybody taken a seat at this point? Is, are there is there any place to sit left? There's. I'm standing. Uh, so. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I'm standing. So there's. I know there's probably the work, the operating table, a doctor's chair, probably a couple extra chairs for patients to sit. That's right. Spot somewhere. Yes, yeah, so there's probably like four chairs in this room. Gotcha. Yeah, Packer she... Hank is probably sitting in one of them. Deltric isn't. Richter might be playfully sitting backwards in one. <laughs> of course. But she'd uh, probably sit down heavily in one and goes, Look, I don't care how we do it. Let's just do it fast before Scav catches up. Yeah. And um, first of all, uh, definitely you would know Scav right now is like asleep at home. They, he kind of like ran around helping with jobs, right? But like maybe you snuck out when he fell asleep. Like mm -hmm. he's, he's in a sludge coma. You know what I mean? He's, he's fucking open out. Mm -hmm. So look. Do we want to actually move these drugs, or do we just want to sit on them? Well, you'd have to sit on them for a short period, and then, I mean, you're not going to steal them and then try and sell them right away. you got to sit for a little bit before you start trying to sell them. Unless you used them as party favors. Hmm. True. And uh, probably at this point, uh, Hank is like, honestly, uh, it's not like we're going to be needing licensure for these drugs. I mean, no one's going to come by and check our papers. And even if they do, just a bribe of a decent size is going to do something. Um, you know, I uh, I am a firm proponent of uh, getting them offloaded quick so we get paid quick, though. Yeah, fast is good. That way we have less chance of somebody asking questions. And, uh... I guess, I guess Shia already said this. Um... Well, but does anybody raise... It. Huh? Oh, lucky yeah. Lucky here to hear it. Sure, sure. So I was gonna say, does anybody raise any questions about, like, what the actual mission goal is? Because so far she said, we're gonna, like... Make it look like a normal robbery. And so far, you've only talked about the normal robbery aspect of things. So, we're robbing a medical facility, why? Don't get me wrong. It sounds fun. We're covering a data extraction. Gee, that's about as specific as you can get. And what kind of data are we wanting? Well, I just need uh, the proof that, you know, my <clears throat> supervisor at my job has been uh, getting detoxed publicly. You know, it's bad for business. 
to know that oh. the guy in charge is a, a drug head. Okay. Oh, no. Works for me. Wouldn't want drugs in the corporate atmosphere. <laughs> Might clean up <laughs> some of the pollution. Well, cl cleaning up the pollution will work very well for me if it's him that gets cleaned up because he gets fired when I get this information. Hmm. And that brings me up the ladder a touch and helps out everybody. Now, when you say helps out everybody, Hacker Hank says, Damn it. he's like, he's like, I listen, I appreciate you as a friend and I'm willing to do you this do, as a friend. You, you do know the, the uh, fairy job. You, you promised me one job in, in uh, trade. Yeah, I did do that, didn't I? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. He says, clearly it not being all that fine. <laughs> So what's the score then? You get your info. How much is this actually going to sell for? Well, I don't know how much the info will sell for. Oh, and I'm not I'm talking about the info. I'm it. talking about... The, the drugs? Yep. Well, that's why we have Spade. To kind of crunch the numbers, figure out how much we can move this uh, a whole bunch of detox chemicals for. Look, you just need to get me a quantity. What's a fixer for, anyways? <laughs> well, and we uh, start with Hacker Hank finding out about what they've got in the building. Uh, yeah, I could probably do that. He says, just like the vid screen going over his eyes. He's like, hmm. Okay, well. And like the vid screen kind of shuts down like immediately. And he's like, well, I've got good news and bad news. What's the bad news? Bad news is I have no idea how many drugs are in there because they're a local network. Good news? I lied about the good news. The good news is Hacker Hank's gonna get some nice exercise coming with us on the mission. Oh, you can plug me in if you want, you know, like I, I don't have to be in the line of danger. If you just want to plug in a little USB dongle into their thing, I could I could access it from there. It's just I need the local access point to be hooked up to my network. Yeah, yeah. And Hank is definitely dodging it. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's not even trying to sell it. Like he's very much like y'all know that I don't want to do this. Like I'll, I'll do it, but I can do it on my terms much more effectively is his whole thing. <laughs> Look, I honestly don't give a shit. This isn't my job. As long as Hank does what we need him to do, he could, he could be on the fucking moon for all I care. Wait, are you offering a uh, a uh, trip to the moon for me? She just kind of turns and gives him the deadpan look. Maybe even. Maybe. Maybe even tilts down the sunglasses just a bit to look over with some bloodshot eyes. I can see you're not in the joking mood. My apologies. Pushes the sunglasses back up. Just kidding. He's like, turned. well, yeah, obviously. I mean, I can't really do anything with all of us standing here with our dicks in our hands. Uh, and um, I'm not even going to try and finish that euphemism for the ladies in the room. You're welcome. Uh, really he's playing, playing to a tough crowd should. tonight. <laughs> yeah, no, he definitely is. This is not <laughs> Hacker Hank at his finest. Yeah, seems like that. You, you should have stopped like a paragraph ago. Yeah, I mean, if nothing, I'm definitely a smooth talker, right? He says with so, a super hammy fucking. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's like. Um, Shia's like, well, so the hitch in this job is, of course, that this place is located in the middle of Canal Belt South, which, as we all know, is currently in the middle of a gang war 
We're going to have white wolf stalking all over the place. We don't have any real good read on what their systems are going to look like. And on top of all of that, this place is going to be locked up incredibly tight. Well, you're not going to get any running out of me today, tomorrow, probably the next few weeks. So that being said, you're going to want to find somewhere high for me to sit. Hmm. Um, all right, so I guess that that means, Lucky, you're the designated look, then. Mm. Uh, gonna be like, uh, okay, so, Lucky's gonna be look, Hank, you're obviously the runner, and he, uh, kind of smiles, like, yep, uh, once we get there, we're gonna need someone to do securing, um... Uh, who here wants to uh, make sure that everything is secure and on their back? And uh, that'd be a good job I, for you, Richter. Yeah, Richter uh, was about to be like, "Yeah, no, that seems about right. Uh, that seems about fair." I uh, I've uh, made sure a few things get to their place safely. Um, it's gonna be like scene. It's pretty right, obvious briefly. you're going to be the driver. Um, and then um, uh, fucking uh, Deltric, you're going to be on any hardware. Kind of nods. Um, it's going to be like, where do you want a moke? Uh, probably... Coming, going in the front while he, um, she uh, and I will definitely try and sneak in the back and open up the garage for uh, the uh, the van. Hmm. All right. Sounds good to me. And uh, let's see here. And uh, Spate, what do you want to be doing? You want to stay in the van? You want to go in the building? Well, I was half thinking of looking at the drugs as they're getting it, make sure they get good stuff and not that's a good you know, idea. Weak old crap. Yeah, we actually do need uh we do need you on ID. If you find any morphine or sludge, <laughs> I'll take. What's the laughing for? That was out of character laughing. Oh, okay. yeah. I was laughing because yeah. I was like, I totally understand. Yeah. Having a character gone through similar, similar things, it's like, yeah, yeah. For the next few days, that character's going to be like, do I have to go up those stairs? I... <laughs> yes. Um, she, she got yeah. down the stairs okay. Just getting back up, it's going to be the problem. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so um, you guys all get set up in your roles. So... Pre-planning for this job, we've got ba -ba -ba, text. Uh, just so I, as the DM, know what's going on, right? We're doing. God damn it! Where's my text? There we go. Um, let's see. I'm thinking that probably Deltric is going to want to stay in the van, right? So, uh. We're gonna do. I gotta. Ah, come on. There we go. And then let's draw a nice little van over here. It's gonna be blue. It's a oh, skinny yeah, van. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Let's see here. Text. We're gonna do. Del trick. Yep. And. Scene. Uh, so Deltric and Scene are going to be in the van. No, I did the wrong thing. Give me one second. One in Mississippi. There we go. Fixed. So, um, next thing's next. It's going to be Devlin and, uh, Devlin and, um, Shia. Shia. Let's see. They're going to do that. Uh, hold on. Let me put in the proper apostrophe. So they're going to be coming in from the back. 
So you're going to have a Moke come in from the front? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. A Moke. Okay. So what entrances then is Spate going to go through, and which entrance is Richter going to go through? Richter will probably be with him okay. Okay. Richter's going to be up front. With him okay. Yeah, they're both good gunmen, so we're going to okay and Richter. There we go. And then where do you want Spate to come in? Just drops from the ceiling. Um, whichever entrance appears to be the most where somebody's going to get hurt, so I'm there right away. So probably the front entrance then. Yeah. Especially because you're going with the bag handler. Yeah. So, okay. And then we've got at the front with a good vantage point, we have got... Lucky! So, you guys are getting that all set up, right? And uh, as you're kind of talking this out, um, you hear a uh, you hear a voice. Hey, what's going on? And uh, you look back, and uh, you've got uh, you've got. Uh, you got Scav standing there. He's just kind of leaning against the wall. Oh, hi. We were planning... Well, it's we just a planning employee surprise meeting. party. And now it's ruined. He's going to look at Lucky with a very incredulous oh, look. Lucky's not even looking at him. She heard his voice, <laughs> and that's enough. All, <sighs> all that he can see is the side profile of the vein bulging in her <laughs> temple. <laughs> We were planning your surprise party. Okay, is anybody going to tell me what's actually going on, or are we going to treat me like a five-year-old? Damn, he called it, I guess. <laughs> I'll tell you when you're older. I mean, why aren't we having him in this again? Out of character? Lucky doesn't want him. Here. Out of character? I think it's because he's a fuck-up. <laughs> hmm. well, I mean, he can sit in the van and provide just cover fire or something goes wrong no he has one of the godhead pistols guys <laughs> yeah so extra protection in the van he's not more likely to thing. hurt himself than anybody else he's gotta learn one way or another right <laughs> yeah how many people how many friendlies he gotta kill before he learns we just face him against the enemies and don't put anyone between him and them that's all it's gonna take <laughs> that's all it's gonna take how could you not have thought of this gunner i tell we you we might why. be gone because by the time he turns around but we just face him towards the enemy and we leave and he takes care of it <laughs> yeah that's not how that's gonna work yeah he looks at the plans and he kind of like walks in and very casually walks up to the plans unless someone stops him there's a cane in his way he looks at you she doesn't look at him. It's like, what's with the no talky thing? No response. Huh. Mom's having a bad day. Mom's having a bad day. You don't say that out loud, do you? Oh, I totally do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's going to go. Okay. Okay. I see I can go and fuck myself. So did you do something to her or is she just nope. choosing you? He's like, no, I uh, don't think I did shit. So, uh, yeah. Scav, if you want to have an argument about this, can we not have it here, please? Well, I didn't come looking for an argument, but okay. Kind of shrugs and just walks upstairs. I was going to invite him along. All right. I'm going to... She says trying to haul herself out of her chair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to... She's too gimpy. Let's sneak him on anyways. I heard that. <laughs> you know, it's, yeah, she probably can't really do much except, you know, shoot us. 
Uh, oh, look, White Wolf is coming. You guys have left me behind. Guess what? Those tires are looking mighty juicy, and I have a sniper rifle. Right. Um, but that being the case, she's going to okay. try and go up and stop actually, him. Actually, before you do that, Amoke is probably going to say, you know, you could probably use somebody watching your back. I didn't ask your opinion. And I didn't ask to not give it. Ah, <laughs> I like her. I and like she, her. she kind of, she like looks at you, and she gives you a stern look. This is a like a warrior's look. You know what I mean? She's like, if you're combat ineffective, the worst thing that can happen is getting left behind, having then someone leave to me drag behind. your ass. Fuck you, leaves. <laughs> She's gonna kind of scowl at your exit, and then quietly look, fold her arms. I look to Moke like. How much is Devlin paying you? <laughs> and uh, she does not say a word. She just kind of gives you a look, that kind of look that's like, that's a question that I can't answer. You know what I mean? Yeah. If she uh, wants to chastise me, she can do it later. Mm-hmm. I just shrug like, eh, I tried. Yeah, not yeah. Like I can afford it. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, at this point, um, the room, the mood is downright festive <laughs> isn't it guys oh, um no. no fucking um uh fucking um god damn it hacker hank if i could use my brain hacker hank kind of goes uh so do we put our hands in for another go team no no no, the, yeah, no, that's that's stupid. I'm going to go to my chair. If you guys need anything, and like he's like, oh, reaches into his... Huh? The dongle. Yeah, he uh, reaches into his suit and pulls out like a USB thing. He tosses it over to you, uh, Devlin. And uh, yeah, he's like, yeah, just plug that into the nearest access point. That's going to be exactly what you need. Uh, that'll get me root access, or that'll get me access into the network. From there, I'll have to beat the black ice. I'll be able to give you updated ETAs once I know I w once I know what I'm working looking for. All right. I pull out my uh, pack of cigarettes and I look to. I say, Deltric vapes. Does anyone else in this room smoke? No, Richter vapes. Uh, Deltric oh. uh, smokes. Okay, so Deltric is he there though? Right. right. Yeah. Yeah, as so I looked at Deltrick, I'm like, join me for a smoke? Yeah, he kind of... <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, uh, yeah, he'll he'll follow. Um, and yeah, yeah. Amoke actually will look at... Uh, will look at... Um, <laughs> will look at Computer King and then look at the cigarettes and be like, do you mind? I don't mind, go ahead. Hell kinda, yeah! <laughs> yeah, kind of like, I'll be taking one of those... All right, let's go. <laughs> yeah. So you guys go out for a smoke, and we're going to handle these scenes in three parts. So part one, we are going to catch up with Lucky and Spade. Uh, or not Spade, Lucky and Scav, brain. Mm -hmm. um, so Lucky, you, uh, you kind of like, if you, you follow to, Scav up. If I have to go run ahead. after him, I guess I will. <laughs> No, you, yeah, you follow Scav up, and Scav probably is smoking a cigarette in the fucking loading bay right now. Scav. Uh-huh. What? You're gonna... Don't do that to me. Kind of Don't... limping around, standing in front of him with the cane in between both of her hands. It's great that you're talking to me now, you know? I uh, wasn't expecting that. And he flicks the cigarette, the half-smoked cigarette onto the ground. I, I left you home asleep. Mm-hmm. That's where I wanted you to stay. Yeah. And uh, I kind of wanted you to stay at home, too, because you're on a goddamn cane right now. This is a job for a friend. It needs to be done. Uh-huh. And, uh, you know, I would consider Deltric at least somewhat of a friend at this point. 
A lot happens when you're all waiting in a hospital room. Scav, don't do this. I'm trying to protect you. <sighs> Listen, when I was in that warehouse and you came in and saved me, there was two things I realized. The first thing I realized is that you were the coolest motherfucker on the planet. And the second thing I realized is that I needed to be able to defend myself. At this point, she does take off the glasses. And now that the glasses are taken off, it's not that it's not that she's on anything. It's just she's been crying. So yeah. uh, she's looking at him and goes, you don't. I'm doing that. You don't need to do that. So you can get your ass left on top of a building to die whenever shit goes wrong? That's not what I'm trying to say. You don't need to be in this. It's fucking dangerous. Guess yeah. what? One of these nights, I'm just not going to come home, Scav. That's the way and, it rolls. And I would rather be there and see it happen with my own two eyes and instead of chasing you your ghost. And I'd rather you stay alive. You at least have something else going on in your life. He kind of like, kind of scoffs and kind of. So suddenly it, that band of yours doesn't matter anymore. That's only the, that's only your entire life. And he kind of pauses, and you can tell he really wants to say something, but he just like cannot find the right words. He's like. Lucky, Marcin, when you got blown up, I never want there to be a situation where there was something I could have done and I wasn't able to do anything. And at this point, He's, like, standing firm. Like, it's one of those things where probably both of you can just feel the tension in the air. He says, If I don't learn from you, I'm gonna find some other mean uppity bitch to go and learn from. You don't from. need to learn this at all. And he kind of looks at you. Scav, why the fuck do you think I do this? So other people I care about don't have to. And uh, he just looks and he's like, you are no good to anyone dead. At least while you have the cane. I can't in good consciousness let you do this. Make me a first aid check. Oh, God. <laughs> yep, he's got your spleen. You weren't paying attention. He just took your spleen. <laughs> <laughs> what, that's not it? Okay, let me actually no. roll first aid tech. Eh. You notice that there are tracks on his arm, but they're not the normal kind of tracks. Uh, Scav has had blood drawn recently. Scav, what are you planning? What do you mean, what am I planning? What did you buy? What? I didn't buy anything. Then why? What did you need blood drawn for? Funny thing, we have the same blood type. Just this one. I don't know what he saw in you. At least back then, I could have sworn that you were a kid, not a... 
<sighs> she lets the cane fall to the floor. Fine. Uh-huh. You want to do this? Do you really want to do this? He nods. <sighs> then okay. You've just got to understand that this is business. From here on out, it is. I know about biz. Good. Then prove it. Prove that you're an edge runner, not a scared little kid that thinks he's one. And without the cane, she walks off. Damn. All right. And we are going to cut to that smoke break. So, yeah, right? Uh, <laughs> fucking great scene from Gunner there. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, so we are going to go to a uh, scene. You're smoking with Amoke and Richter. Yeah. Um, Richter is doing his normal thing of just bullshitting, you know? Yeah. Um, Richter, and also Deltric, right? And, like, Richter's probably like, eh, there were, like, 15 guys. I had 15 rounds in the mag. That was 15 headshots in a row. And Deltric's like, what mag were you using that had 15 rounds? He's like, fuck you. It was custom. Fuck off. Smart boy. Takes- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, smart bullet. Yeah, yeah. Kind of takes a pull. Um, kind of goes, uh, what about you, Wheels? You got any sort of uh, crazy stories behind you? Oh, a few. Uh, I, we're, we're, I, they were both there when I took down all those people with my fan. Yes. <laughs> it's like you guys, you two saw my spectacular... Uh, counting on her uh, on, on my well, hands. Omoke two, has three. not, but yeah, yeah. Uh, Deltric One, two, and Richter three. did. My spectacular what was it seven man takedown with my vehicle. Yeah, that shit was fucking impressive. I was scared for my life at that point. Uh, when you drive through the forest every day of your life, you're gonna hit a lot of things. You get used to it. Huh. Yeah. Uh, well. I was on the other side when you were doing that, so <laughs> I oh, know you were the lucky one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You were the one I didn't hit. Actually, no, yeah. I did hit him. That's right. You were the yeah. one that survived the hit. I yeah, I did in fact survive the hit. I suppose I, I owe you a little part. bit of apology for that. No, I okay. was being I I was working for the wrong people. Just biz. I get it. <laughs> you know, um, and uh, kind of like looks over at Amoke, and it's like, what about you? You got stories? And Amoke, Amoke like, takes a long drag and is like, <laughs> nothing interesting. You know. Someone who says that has the most interesting stories. I mean, and, an ancient philosopher once said, well, oh, God, I can't remember what he actually said. It was the... Uh, the the only thing I know is that I know nothing. I know nothing, yeah. And we consider him the wisest. <laughs> Looking back to him, okay. Yeah, and she kind of turns, and you see the light kind of, the moonlight gleam off of her fucking, uh, <laughs> her bad eye that the scar is over. Uh, exactly. <laughs> uh, and she kind of says, hmm, well, I guess, uh, she's like, uh, I guess, uh, one thing, uh, well, it was North Africa. It was during uh, the the uh, Cote d'Ivoire, uh, the Cote d'Ivoire raids uh, that were being done by Op, all covert. Uh, I was part of the local freedom fighters. Ironic. Well, I was at the edge of my village. There were fifteen of them. They came in, all of them regulators. And, uh, well, it's incredible the sound that bullets slapping through wood can make. Not a sound that you hear out here very often. But uh, you hear round after round go out and out and out as these 15 men uh, crossed uh, half a mile quarter of a mile, eighth of a mile, and finally, 
they like they were on the front line. By the time they came forward, they'd expended very little ammo and had been very efficient about the targets that they hit. They started to roll through the town, started burning every building they could, started burning the building that I was in. The only reason that they did that was I played dead amongst the comrades. Didn't uh, check me for vitals, or if they did, figured I was no threat. Lit the building on fire, and then... For ten minutes, I sat within that blaze before I was sure they were gone. Came out with... And kind of lifts up uh, the side of her shirt, and you see, like, a heat scar on her side, and she's like... That. And then kind of points to the... Points to the uh, the eye scar and goes, That's a different one. Kind of takes a long, weary drag of her cigarette. Oh, yeah, so do I. I'm just like... I'm just like, well... Can't... I got nothing on that. <laughs> yeah, Richter's like, shit. Fucking grim. Have you thought about writing a book? And I, she, like, looks at him just with this glare, and he's just like, there, there, you know. I might uh, steal you from Devlin one day. Might. Yeah, and she's like... Honestly, the company is paying me good enough, along with the loyalty points, free replacements for anything that happens, and of course the severance package. Severance package is very generous to what family I have left. Just nod. Yeah. Oh, not saying you have to leave the company. <laughs> Kinda nods and goes... If you work something out with Devlin, I would be more than happy. Kind of gives you a slight grin. A slight smile, not grin. Yeah. And, um, yeah, like, uh, maybe we kind of get a shot of uh, you guys all kind of looking up into the clouded sky as we cut into the building. Spate, Devlin, and uh, Shia are all kind of in there. Um Shia and uh, Spate are probably going over, like Shia, Devlin, and Spate are probably all going over, you know, like what kind of drugs might be in the building and that sort of thing. Um, probably Shia looks up at uh, Devlin and is like, so we've decided that we're going to have uh, Amoke and Rictor, or Amoke, Rictor, and Spate push through the front door. Like so, and then what? We're going to meet them at the back like this? That sounds like what I'm thinking of. Uh, we don't know exactly where the uh, drugs are being held, but we will as soon as we can plug Hacker Hank in. That sounds like a good idea. Um, Spate, what kind of shit will they have here? And Spate, would you like to make me a med tech roll? Should I find it? The heck is med tech? Uh, should be tech medicine, or maybe it's first aid. Hold on. Let's see here. Uh, let me take a look. I can literally just open anyone's character sheet. Uh, it's going to be in the tech skills. Uh, I suppose it would be paramedic. Yeah, because I think that's the only one that only yeah. uh, meds can take. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so with that oh. score on paramedic, that's a pretty good one. Spate, this place is going to be... If they didn't move everything out, it's going to be a cornucopia, just a real hot spot of drugs because they need uh, they need for withdrawals uh, all the drugs, right? So yeah, uh, this place is gonna be good. Yeah, so we'll have quite a pick to choose from. 
heck, we just grab whatever we want as long as we go through, and most likely we'll get a lot of good stuff. Yeah, she was like, anything you're looking for made for to add to your uh, office you know you don't have to sell all of it if you need some uh one thing you might know is uh it would probably have some equipment that you could use because right now you're still operating very like chop shop you know um it would have some professional grade equipment that might help you uh in fact the current plus two you're getting from having the place, uh, I would totally allow you to raise that to like a plus four, maybe even a plus five, depending on how much stuff you steal from there. Yeah, Spate would be like, you know, aside from the drugs, there's probably equipment in there that could make this place more feasible to do other things. Um, if we can get away with some equipment as well, that would be most advantageous to me. All right. We will need you to identify the equipment, and then we can haul it out. Oh, yeah. I'll, that's the whole reason I wanted to go in there, so that I can be like, oh, I've always wanted one of those. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and she was like, excellent. So... What we'll probably need to do, Lucky and Scav will probably have to embark. <laughs> I'm glad she's assume... just decided. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Um, actually, she'd probably just be like, Lucky is probably going to have to embark from a separate vehicle. We don't have enough space in the van. Um, we can probably drop Amoke, Richter, and you, Spate, off in the front. Meanwhile, um, the rest of us could get dropped off in the back. Um, how many seats do you have in your van, by the way? Uh, let's see. With the gun down? Yeah. Six, I think? Uh, is that counting you as the driver? Um, I don't know. I'm trying to scroll to where it has the descriptions. Give me a sec. I was just at them, and then I was scrolling down to find reputation. Mm -mm. So unfortunately, it's where like the nomad, all the role abilities and mass description are. Sure, sure. I believe it's six, and then we can cram someone in if we have to. Yeah, I'm I'm cool with it being six. Uh, six and also you, like as the driver. Oh, that's um, up. Right, right. So yeah, um, that plan then works perfectly fine. So, um, you guys uh all get uh, you guys all get the finalized plan from uh Shia. Uh, on your agents it's basically the like hey here's the layout here's how everyone's getting to where they need like lucky you're gonna have to find uh, a ride to your location specifically um here's its address it's the best location for it you know um that sort of thing but uh yeah so all of you get that are you going to reassemble, or are you all just going to go and do your thing now? What's the plan? Mm -hmm. I don't see reason not to do it now. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, Maybe. so... Oh, yeah. Um, let's say that probably... Um, probably... Uh, Amoke uh, takes a look at her agent and goes... Looks like it's showtime. And kind of flicks her thing and uh, walks inside to meet Devlin. All right. Seeing, do you go, like, warm up the car? Yeah, I'll go get it started. Hell yeah. Yeah, so it's a high-performance ground car. It has four seats plus the two extra that I took. 
Uh, and has 40 move and can move 200 miles, miles per hour. Damn! Fast yeah, car. Regular, regular compact cars can go 100 miles per hour. Like, <laughs> that's like saying this. Yeah, that's like the speedometer on my car says it can go to 140. Right. Uh, right. Sure. Right. Yeah, so these cars go up to like uh, like 200 and they have a speedometer that probably goes up to 300. Oh, yeah. Um. Hell yeah. So, yeah, you guys, um, you guys are, uh, getting, you guys are all getting ready. Uh, half of you get in the van. Um, well, more than half of you, all of you but Lucky and Scav get in the van. Um, we'll start with Lucky. Lucky, how are you getting to your location with Scav? Well, does Scav come and find me after I walk off? Uh, Scav doesn't know to find you. Because he doesn't know that the job is, like, right now on. Uh, that's true. And they just assumed he wasn't coming. Right. You did kind of... You are kind of, like, often considered a, a, a boss babe. Um, <laughs> this is true. And uh, you did say no. Um, so they probably just assumed, yeah, well, I guess that Scav's not coming. Okay, well, that's a shame. You know what? This is really unfair to him, but I did say he need this is it from now business is business. And if he doesn't uh -huh. know we're on the clock, that's not my problem. So, uh, what's that? Okay. I said okay. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh well, grab, let's see. She probably did bring the game plan shit with her because she expected scab to be sleeping at home so yeah she's gonna go grab her shit and mm -hmm. then she's going to head to the location um as for vehicle hmm see my initial response is i'll just rent something which is fine yeah. except <laughs> renting a vehicle and then doing illicit shit. Are they known for having a whole bunch of trackers on rented vehicles? Oh, you can you can pop a uh, you can pop a uh, a tracker off of a Yakton motorcycle or bicycle like that. Let's grab a motorcycle. You... Okay, uh, let's do a real quick um, tech uh, tech land vehicle. That's fun. Yeah, to pop the tracker off. It's a oh. low DC. <laughs> well, it's good because she has no bonuses. Because yeah, yeah. this isn't her thing. Uh... Yeah, no. <laughs> yep, couldn't even yeah. do that properly. So maybe you're dicking around with a motorcycle uh, at a nearby area. And Scav kind of walks out and looks at you and goes, Hey, what the fuck are you doing? I got places to be. Yeah, and you didn't fucking tell me? I said this is business. Ah, oh, so I? business includes not telling anyone anything. Seems very professional. And he walks this over. This isn't my job. If they didn't tell you, that's not my problem. Yeah, he walks over, and he's like, no, you're doing it all wrong. And uh, he uh, reaches down and just, like, yanks the fucking uh, tracker out. That would have been fucking and... great had he failed. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right? <laughs> um, but yeah, he yanks the fucking tracker out and um, tosses it, it into a nearby trash can. Yanks the brake cord, the brake cord. <laughs> yeah. <fire>. Right? <laughs> but he's like, if somebody had told them that I was in, maybe they would have told me. And he actually is going to sit on the front of the motorcycle and kickstart it. He's going to look at you and be like, so, uh, you getting on? My cane is still sitting in the garage, isn't it? Well, this is just business, right? Kind of gives you a sly smile. He doesn't get one back. 
I might be smiling because I think it's pretty funny. She yeah. doesn't think it's funny. Oh, no, she of course wouldn't. She uh, um, sits down on the back of it and grabs the side handles rather than him because... Uh-huh. No, I'm Because petty. Because petty, um, yes. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, he has you send him the address and uh, he starts a driving. Mm-hmm. Um, meanwhile, van folks, uh, y'all are... Um, driving in the van towards the location. Uh, and you kind of, uh, you, you get to the bridge and there is no white wolf at the, at the canal. They're a block away from the canal. Uh, they have a one way sign for a two way road and it's one way only going in. So uh, yeah, they're just assuming if someone goes in, they're not coming out. Right. Yeah. Um, you guys go through just fine. White Wolf is not trying to stop the combat from happening in there. They're trying to make sure it doesn't spill out anywhere else. So, yeah. Um, you, you, um, you bust through, um, that, well, not bust, but you just drive through and you get into Canal Belt South. And hot damn is Canal Belt South fucked um for those of you who've lived in this town for a long time this place isn't affluent but it's done all right for itself the mega buildings generally are well enough serviced unlike your dawn where they're just clustered and left to rot um the business infrastructure of this uh part of town is pretty nice um you don't have anyone living here who's like super shit but it's definitely a place that young professionals can call home right people who are poor and just starting their internship or whatever the kind of place that like maybe it tells stories about oh i lived in the bad part of town like when you're older but like you didn't live in the worst part of town right right um it'd be like gunner if like we said oh yeah we lived here uh to someone who lived on hydraulic you know what i mean um but yeah so, um, you guys have, like, uh, you, you guys drive in, um, and you see, first and foremost, a fucking APC kind of rolls down the road, and you're far enough that they're not paying attention. You just see the, the big-ass gun that's taped to the top of it, which, might I remind you, is just an artillery piece, like, kufoom, right, as it fires off, and you hear a distant explosion, uh, you see a couple white wolf helicopters strafe the area, you know, laying down some fire. You guys are in the shit. Um, and as per being in the shit, I am going to need a driving check. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's shit. What'd you roll? 22. Oh, not bad. 22 is pretty good. Um... Yeah, you uh you see you you're kind of like taking side streets and back roads even though this place has been hit by a fucking bomb, you it, you still know the streets. You know what I mean? Um you probably drive really slowly down an alleyway that's full of people who are trying to file into a building after another building is like on fire near you. You know, you see like a group of people kind of like huddling on the street, just like afraid as you drive by. Maybe a few people try and like get in the van, but like the doors are locked. They're not getting in, you know. Um, they pose no threat to you, you know. Um, but yeah, like a lot of people panicking, a lot of really bad shit going on, you know. Um, and you pull up to the location. Um, you pull up to a building that uh, is kind of flanked on either side by other buildings with small alleyways between them. A luxurious waste of space in this day and age. Uh, it is also uh, a two-story building, right? Um, and uh, we're going to pause here because we're basically going to say you drive up a couple or you drive up a block away and you drop off a Moke Richter in spate. You guys all get out of the car. And uh, Amoke uh, stands there with a duffel bag. Richter also stands with a duffel bag. 
Uh, Spate, do you have a duffel bag or no? Yeah, probably be a good idea to have one. Right. So yeah, all all three of them have duffel bags, and they start walking down the street towards the location. Uh, at least Richter and uh, Amoke have their guns drawn. What about you, Spate? Yeah, just in case. Sure, sure. So uh, you guys are kind of heading down that away, uh, and then we're gonna cut to Scav and Lucky. Uh, Lucky, you actually haven't seen Scav ever drive. He's pretty handy with a motorcycle. Um, he knows what he's doing. He uh, goes through the White Wolf blockade pretty effectively. Um, rips down the bridge and then immediately like pulls a couple uh, tricky side maneuvers that don't jostle you around a lot, but also probably aren't comfortable for someone injured. You know? I'm going to need him to make a driving check. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Can't just take the DM's word for it? Correct. Okay, whenever you say. <laughs> so, Just because I want to give, I want something to give him shit about. Right. Wow. It's a 20. Well, it ain't going to be that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I, I'm convinced. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, he, he fucking is uh, driving around, uh, hitting corners pretty slick, you know, that sort of thing. He's, he's doing a pretty good job for himself. Uh, he pulls up to where you guys are getting set up, which is a parking garage. Um, you guys have been instructed the top floor of this parking garage is going to be the best way around. So uh, Spate is going to park um, very close to where you guys are. Uh, and he's going to kind of hang by the ledge and be like, "It's a good spot for you? It's fine. Kind of. Or not Spate, sorry, Scav. Oh. My bad. Um, but yeah, he's like, kind of just holds together, you know, does the standard thing and just kind of waits. Just uh, lets you get set up. He doesn't really have a lot to do uh, at this point. So, yeah. Um, we will now cut over to the people coming in through the back. So, Deltric and Shia help out to help you as um, you get uh, pulled up towards the back there scene. We will drag you over here. We will do that. So Deltrick is going to hang by this back garage door until shit's solved because uh, he's the mechanics guy, you know? Um, so yeah, uh, you guys pull up to the back. And uh, right now, we will... Ad break? Huh? Are you wanting to take like an ad break? Yeah, let me mull this one over. Do we want to do a real quick ad break, guys? Sure. Sure. Awesome. Let's do it. Give we'll see you, seconds. everyone. Be back in a moment. We love you. We love you. All right. 60 seconds. Hell yeah. So what I'm thinking, guys, is I'm probably going to have Amoke, Richter, and Spade start, and then we go to Deltric, Devlin, Shia, and Scene, uh, and then we go to Lucky and Scav. Does that work? Okay. I just get to uh, be a shit to him again. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I've been yeah. real shitty to him. There's, you have. He's uh not having a good time about it. No. Uh. Yeah. He's, yeah. Lucky's like an elementary I... school girl. She okay. really likes him. Am I saying uh -huh. the vehicle? Or maybe she's just or going through that the phase of anger because you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I or he's should dead. I be staying in the vehicle? <laughs> Say what? Should I be staying in the vehicle? Uh, what do yeah, you want? Because you're gonna need to back in. All right, three, yeah. two, one. Okay. We are I'll back. Excellent. So you're gonna stay in the vehicle there? Yeah. Okay. All right before, on. So once it gets to us, I'll do my thing. Yeah. Go ahead. Yes. So we're gonna start. Amoke, Richter, Spate, you three have arrived at the front door. In front of you is a steel shuttered door along with um a uh along with a pretty plain concrete flat face to the front of the building um richter probably looks at this and goes hmm. 
Well, anybody know how to open a lock? Yeah, I do. <laughs> just, just wait for someone to pull out a shotgun. Like, yeah, I know. Yeah, right. Let's well, say, just shoot the door handle. It's like, okay. Takes out his pistol and blasts a couple rounds into the hinges on the metal slats. And uh, fucking the door just like kind of starts to heave. And it's like, uh, you guys around the back definitely hear that, you know? Um, in fact, he probably pulls out his shotgun for that one. He's just boom, chick, chick, boom, chick, there chick. It is. Yeah. <laughs> and the, uh, metal, the metal slat on the front, like kind of falls down. So basically the hinges for the metal slat or the roller was at the top. He hit the two bars that were holding it up. So it just kind of slinks onto the ground, leaving a glass door in front. Uh, Richter smashes it with the butt of his shotgun and then steps aside and ladies first. And, uh, Amoke just is like, I insist, jackass is first. And he like, oh, ice cold. He kind of walks in, and then Amoke makes sure, Spate, that you get in next. Wait, um, I step through and look around. Yeah. Uh, so, first things first that you guys notice, uh, the alarm is going off. It's not loud, but it's definitely a beep. Now, it's generally hooked up directly to White Wolf shit, so odds are that it's probably not going to bring anybody here. Um, but yeah, you all walk in, and Spate, immediately, you realize that you are lucky. Because the front desk no, computer I'm is lucky. here. Ah. Uh, but yeah, the front desk computer is here. Meaning... That's the first thing that they take, right? That's priority number one that they take. So all of the drugs are bound to be here. Um, okay, so walk in, try to find the drugs. I don't know. Sure, and uh, you're you're walking around. Make me a like a really easy perception. I believe is what the skill is. Yeah, perception. That's that human perception thing? Or? No, it's under awareness, top left. Yep. Concentration, conceal, look oh. reading, perception. Gotcha, fam. Excellent. Yeah, you walk around, you see the perfect spot to... Uh, make infiltration. You see a supply closet. Of course, it is locked, but it is not as secured as the front door was. I look around, and I'm like, well, let's try. i shoot it. <laughs> All right, yeah, you blast the door handle, and the door opens up slowly, and inside, you see the jackpot. I will describe the jackpot after Deltric, Seen, Devlin, and Shia, you guys pull up to the back. Um, big old garage door there. Um, Deltric, you hear uh, Hacker Hank. There should be an access point somewhere immediately inside if there's a garage there. Uh, you're probably going to want to find a, a spot in there to plug me in. Definitely. I, uh, we gotta get in. Is, is there I, a lock? As, uh, as Devlin's getting out, though, mm -hmm. I like tap him on the shoulder and I hand him something. I'm like, just pull the pin, chuck it in there when you're ready to leave. And it's an incendiary grenade. Huh. All right. I got you. Yeah. We gotta and, make uh, it look like a robbery. You know? Yeah. So there is a, uh, there is Since a when does big... robbery involve arson? When it's grand it, it covers up, it, it, Yeah, it covers up the other thing we're doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, um, this looks like a robbery disguised as an arson. Oh, well, exactly. job's done, as opposed to, hey, this is a data breach disguised as a robbery disguised as arson. Right, exactly. exactly. Um, yeah. So you get to the back. There's a 
big beefy fucking padlock garage door you're not getting through it that shit's fucking uh like that shit's fucking like layers of uh reinforced nanotube steel right um like interwoven carbon steel uh the lock however it is big but you might be able to get through it um do you have security No, I do with a plus nine. If I need to get out and unlock it, I can. Right. Uh, let's so see. What pick lock doesn't work for that, then. Pick lock would work. Uh, I, I only have a three. and um... I thought that... Oh, wait a minute. Is that security security tech? like? Uh... Yeah, security tech or pick lock. Okay, gotcha. I have a plus seven of pick lock as well, Where's... if no one else has something better back Where's there. Where's pick lock? It's below it under photography and film. Oh, there it is. So electric security tech. Okay, so security tech would be like fucking like oh, data. Hack hacking stuff. Yeah. yeah, hacking. Yeah. And then pick lock is the physical stuff. Um yeah, uh Shia only has an eight in it in pick That's lock. better than what I got, so yeah. yeah what about Deltric? Uh, tech. Deltric does not have pick lock, I don't think. No, Deltric doesn't have pick lock. He does have a natural eight in it, but um, that's just because Deltric is fucking really good at tech skills. Um, yeah, we're gonna have Shia do it. Yep, because it kind of fits her character. Um, so yeah, she's going to walk up, Ooh. pull out an electronic Ooh. rake. Oh yeah, and she fucking starts to rake it with the electronic rake and goes, "This is never gonna work." Pulls out an actual set of lock picks with a tensioner's wrench and everything. It's like, I hate going old school. Kind of pick, 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 pop, and immediately pops the thing. Pulls the uh, lock down, pulls it out, and uh, tosses it. Uh, cut, hits the ground with a clatter. Lifts up the garage door to show you guys an empty garage. An empty loading bay. Is there an right. access point in there? Yeah, you see an access point pretty much immediately. Definitely time to go in and plug in a dongle. All right, you plug in that dongle, and Hacker Hank says, I'm in. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, we're going to cut to Lucky and Scab. Lucky, you watch Amoki, Amoke, Richter, and Spate bust in through the front door loudly um great yeah well, if anybody's around they'll know we're here make me a perception hold on actually i think i might have a thing uh-huh uh a thing yeah i'm gonna hand a pair of binoculars to scav Tell uh -huh. him to look one direct, look one side of the street. I will look the other. Okay, the right on my rifle. Excellent. I think it's a bonus to perception. I didn't actually write it down because I'm an idiot. So... Uh, I think it's. Is it a plus two? Yeah, most things are. Yeah, that's why I was thinking. Yeah, scab does okay. Uh, perception. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, you guys both do pretty good. Scav kind of is looking down his side of the street. Uh, he's like, huh, a bum shitting in a box. Yeah, if you're trying to make conversation, this is the wrong way to do it. Come on, can't take a joke? Can a bear take a shit in the woods? No, but a homeless person can take a shit in a box, apparently. Well, then that should answer it for you. You know, I'd figure him more for a twink than a bear. And as he says that, Jesus. you're looking down the street, and uh, you see a group of three guys clearly borged out. Hold up. Start okay. walking. Oh, go ahead. No, she was just going to say, hold up, got something. Yeah, and uh, start uh, walking down the street towards the... Uh, the uh pure you well 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 apparently the pope shits in the woods 
could have told me that. No, I'll take a look. He uh, takes a look where your sights are zeroed and goes, oh, hoo, hoo. How many of them are there? There's three of them. Okay. Do any of them look particularly tough? Um, None of them look particularly tough, but the fact that they're there is the scariest part, probably. Do I see any potentials for reinforcements? Hear the sounds of staccato... Hear any staccato of gunfire, the rumble of engines? Oh, you hear gunfire and engines everywhere. Uh, this area is an active war zone, right? Oh. Maybe two, three blocks down you hear gunfire. So what you're basically saying is I can cap three of these goons and no one's going to bat an eye. Yeah, if you do it well. <laughs> if I do it well. Mm-hmm. Is that something you're interested in doing? Okay. Oh, I should probably, like, roll the fucking weapon, but... Yeah, roll the weapon for me. I mean, it's not... So, that's good out yeah. to, you know, 100 yards, or I guess 200 yeah. yards. Um, yeah, so, uh, you fucking, you, they're definitely within, they're definitely in that 100 to 200 yard range. Yep. Is there like a block down? So roll your damage. Uh, yeah, you scoop one of their heads clean off, just like, boom. <laughs> well, silenced, right? Yes. Okay. So you hear, a. And then one of their heads is just gone. Uh, the other two immediately look like, what the fuck? Like, they duck down. Want to make me another attack roll? Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You, you, you pick down into the ground near them, and one of them kind of, like, looks up in your general direction. Go ahead and make me another roll. Uh, I just can't win today. Hey, you got one of them on the drop, man. Um, Hold on. What's going on here? Is your... Yeah, no, wait, wait. I should have... It's just rolling... Yeah. I was going to say... I should have a plus to set... 12 to this. Hold on. Yeah, you're rolling with a plus 8 instead of a plus uh, 12. So add 4 to all that. Okay. Um, be, I think. I don't know, actually. I I'm not sure what you would roll. No, so it's... Arm? Yeah. It's shoulder arms for sniper rifle. Yeah. And it is taking oh. from either archery or auto fire, which makes no sense. <laughs> These character sheets are jank. You need to change yep. the, the type. I have oh, the type wait. set to sniper rifle. Oh yeah, let me hit let me hit mine real quick. Let's see. That's that's a sniper rifle. That's an eight plus one? The fuck do I have one in? <laughs> uh, this is I have one great. nothing. It's still not... Hold on, hold on. All right. So if I put four into fucking... Well, hold on. It's... I have a 12 in shoulder arms. So if I give that a four and that a four, does that fix it? Apparently not. It's just fucked. Hold on. God. Yeah, I will create a isn't... duplicate and then yeah. try it this time. Sniper rifle isn't tied to a stat, so you might need to pick something like. Uh, oh God. Let's see. Shoulder arms would be what assault rifle, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking. But dirty. then will that do the correct uh, range factors? No, that's factors? Still, that's still doing. The... Oh wait, it, no, that's right. No, it, it won't. That's the problem. It'll give it a different. Uh, I think is I don't have a plus one in anything. There we go. I had to create a whole. So what happens is when you create the weapon for the very first time, it uh -huh. takes whatever your current total is and adds it in. Yeah. And I've upgraded my shoulder arm oh. since then, which is why it wasn't paying attention. So I Weird. will just delete the old silence. Okay. Yeah. So are okay. we okay with the nineteen? I am cool with the 19. We'll keep the one as yeah, rolled. Yeah. Uh, so that pings into the ground. One of them kind of hunches down, but looks in your general direction. You fire another round, and the one who looked at you 
his head gets scooped off as well. Uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's consistent. Yeah. His head gets scooped. Uh, and then do you want to roll me one more? Yeah, I can do that. All right. That's um, good. beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely. That's good. Also, a really kick and track just kicked in while you're doing this. So uh, <laughs> perfect. Yeah. Lucky, you just like click, 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 click. All of them are dead, right? Um, Reloading. Can you please hand me the, uh, please hand me a clip from my bag or a magazine yeah, from my bag? <laughs> grabs one of your mags and hands it to you and takes your old one and sticks it back in your bag. There you go. Uh, yeah. And he's like, uh, wow, you're scary as fuck. <laughs> Let's remember to keep it that way. Yeah. And uh, kind of like nods, and um, we're gonna cut back. Amoke, Richter, Faith, you guys have just run into the best shit, right? You guys have run into Sludge, Twister, E Tilt, Lightning, Third Eye, Amphoplex, Hydro, Pazel, Tatsu, Fizz, Dwarf. Glitter Smash, Blue Glass, Speed, or uh, Synth Coke, Stims, Speed Heal. You even ran into, and here's the most important, you run into a big fucking patch of Cydroclopine, which is an anti-psychosis drug. Um, along with that, you've got plenty of the other, plenty of the other shit, right? Um, I will give you exact amounts later when you can actually count it, um, but there's a fucking lot of shit in here. Um, you're going to be stuffed in the back of that van for sure. Yeah, I slide everything into the bags. Oh yeah. <laughs> there's, there's more than you can fit into just those three bags, but you get the most expensive shit first, of course. You have an yeah. entire duffel bag full of cydroclopine. To give you uh, to give you a measure of that scale, um, that duffel bag can probably so each of those pills are the size of a pretty standard ibuprofen or other like aspirin. Uh, one of those pills lasts you twenty four hours as an anti psychosis drug for loss of humanity. You have a duffel bag full of those pills like tightly packed um so yeah uh you've got a lot of money right now um yeah you get that um you probably get the uh e-tilt and the lightning in there because that's pretty expensive the amphoplex um and the hydropazel because that's definitely going to be what uh lucky is looking for hydropazel is basically the uh the stand-in for morphine here um it's nicknamed morphine because it basically is morphine but it's much more chemically pure um which is saying something because morphine's pretty chemically pure um but yeah you get everything all bagged up uh richter is just like god damn that is a lot of shit you know um kind of looking at it and Amoke is like yeah, we better make sure that we get it into the van immediately. And uh, speaking of the van, Scene, are you uh, driving the van into the thing? Yeah, I'm pulling back in. We're yeah, back you in pull the back in. Um, Devlin starts locking the area down along, and uh, Shia is with you. Um, Deltrick, what are you doing? You say Deltrick? Yeah, my bad. Devlin. God damn it. The curse of this game. <laughs> once this is um once Hacker Hanks in, um it's time to work our way towards the front. Is there sure. any, is there any um equipment here that looks like it might be useful for Spade? Um nothing at the moment, no. Um right now, uh you are in like a mostly empty garage. Um, 
looks like whoever was working here took the truck and fucked right off immediately, uh, which is probably the most pragmatic thing they as a person could have done. They're probably fired from the corporation, but they're alive. Um, but yeah, um, uh, basically, um, Tank is like, okay, so, and you hear the alarm that's been going off, shut off. And he's like, okay, that alarm is finally dead. Thank God. That's good. That was, it was annoying. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's like, uh, the bad news is that whatever computer they have their files on separate circuit entirely. Uh, you're gonna have to pull the dongle and move it to a good computer. Do you have an idea of where that computer might be? Uh, well, and like, as he's about to say that, Shia's like, uh, if they've got it, it's gonna be at the front. All right, disconnecting. And yeah. pulls the dongle. Yep, pulls it, and Hank's like, ah, oh, owie! Just kidding, just fucking with you, just... It's just... Anyway, uh, um, and yeah, you guys start to pull forward, uh, walk in forward, and uh, you see what can only be described as a fuck ton of drugs and your three compatriots loading these fuck ton of drugs into duffel bags. It looks like you guys have been busy. I'm looking around for... Uh... The computer in the front. Yeah. And uh, you, you see the computer in front. It's still there, thankfully. And plug the dongle right. Yep. You, you plug the dongle in, and he's like, okay, taking a look here. Ooh, some nice corporate files to skim. Okay, don't mind if I do. Um, and he's, he's kind of... He's clearly fishing around. He's like, this might take me a minute. They've got some uh, pretty decent black ice encryption on a lot of this stuff. I got to go into warrior mode. Cut in contact for probably about 30 seconds to a minute. All right. Get in, get the, get the files, get out. He's like, you got it, boss. And uh, yeah, you, uh, you see Shia uh, is like, uh, immediately is like, uh, We'll just take everything in the closet, I'm assuming. Uh, Spate, do you want to look around, see if there's any machines in here you want? Yeah, once I'm Our done filling up this bag with some of the cool stuff and then pointing out, hey, all this stuff could be effective, but I got the most expensive stuff. Mm. If you want more, put it in the van. Yep. Uh, I'm going to have a look around. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Spate, at this point, if you want to give me another paramedic check. Nice. So, uh, you find some pretty decent equipment. You actually go upstairs to a small examination room. And upstairs, you find a portable x-ray machine. Uh, that, or It would actually be a portable MRI slash x-ray. Uh, so, pretty expensive unit there. Um, and you also find a really good set of automated surgery tools, kind of like the Archimedes stuff, so you don't even have to be in the same room to operate if someone's, like, say, incredibly contagious or maybe likely to explode or something. All right. So, I make note... Or they're not... They're heavy stuff, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. I make note of that, and I'm be like, okay, when y'all are going to go back downstairs and be like, all right, when y'all are done, I found two really cool things I want upstairs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I love that. And maybe maybe as you guys are kind of getting shit loaded into the van, um, another 30 seconds pass. So we're doing these in 30-second increments, I've now decided. That seems about movie-like, you know? Um, Lucky and Scav. Uh, Lucky, you're looking down the road. Scav is looking back down his side of the road. And Lucky, you see a vehicle peel down the opposing street, right? And then it stops and kind of does a U and like starts to slowly drive down the street towards those bodies. 
All right, you need to give them a call. Tell them we've got company. Uh, got it. And I'm going to, uh, well, all right. What does this vehicle look like? Bog standard or? Bog standard sedan size, probably coupe size vehicle. Um, real ratty looking. Very hacked together. Oh, it's these motherfuckers again. Oh, no. This looks like a new human vehicle. Yeah, these fuckers again. Remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. They, uh, they fucked with us at the van plan. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, so, looking... This... Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, just looking... Um, what kind of range are we talking about here? Uh, we're saying they're about 300 yards away at this point. Oh, okay, so not close enough. Um... Actually, I thought that you could uh, well, reach out to is 17. Oh, no, 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 no. I wasn't planning no. on shooting them with the sniper rifle. Oh, you're thinking grenade launcher. Yeah. No, oh, okay. Well, okay. actually, uh, can I see the driver through the front windshield? Uh, you can see where he would be. Do you have AP? He's got a metal windshield. I did have AP, yes. All right. If you fire an AP round... Um, you uh, could potentially kill the driver outright. That's a 20. That's good up to 800 yards. Yeah. Um, roll your damage. Better part of a fucking kilometer. Wow. 14, 13, 14, 13. Consistent damage. Yeah. You, uh, you hit the car and it like, you're like ping. And then it like fucking skids into a building. Uh, another guy gets out and is kind of like starts panicking, uh, looking at this shit, being like, oh fuck, oh fuck, sort of thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, you hit him too. Oh my god. Uh, 10 damage. You don't quite scoop his brain. You hit him and take his arm off, and he fucking just like drops to the ground. He's still going, though. Um, and Scab at this point is like, Go ahead. we got issues. Problem? What? Uh, no, he's radioing in to the uh, oh, other guys. Okay. Yeah. What do you think, Scav? Short? Let him live? Scav uh, kind of looks and goes, that ain't my call. <laughs> I think at this point she would stand up with her big long rim black hat and black pantsuit and all. Just kind yeah. of watching. No longer through the s scope of the rifle. Just looking in his general direction. Yeah. And you're watching him, and suddenly, behind you, you hear, Oh, fuck! Followed by a gunshot. Oh, God. All right. Uh, you turn around. Yeah. And you see that Scav has shot a member of New Human through the chest. Ooh. He kind of, like, it, like, grabs his chest and, like, starts to, like, reach out. And then he just, like, collapses onto the ground. Scav, like, drops the gun. Like, the gun flew out of his hand and it's on the ground. And he's just, like, looking at New Human. Then looks at his hands. Then looks at the New Human. Is the New Human on the roof? Yeah. Oh. He snuck up on you. He is sneaky sneak. He is sneaky boy. Well... I'm going to look at the bot, look at New Human. Is New Human dead or is he dying? He's dying. Okay. I'm going to, uh, yeah, I probably just kind of leveled the rifle at him and let mm -hmm. the deafening sound of a giant fucking rifle reverberate. It's not deafening. You're no, silent. No, no, no. If this were, yeah, this is true. Yeah. So yet. It's not like, I'm going to treat it like legit silencer, which is, it's bah! Like, so it's not, it's not as loud as just like, oh God, everyone in the whole block heard us, but everyone within a hundred feet probably heard it, you know? Yep. Well, with all the background noise. I've got oh, with all the background noise, it's nothing. Yeah. Um, yeah, you blow his fucking head into nothingness and blow a chunk out of the ground over in the uh, fucking area. Okay. Yeah. And kind of like nothing had ever happened. She kind of 
side glances at Scav and goes, Well, have you told him yet? As she goes over to inspect Mr. New Human. Uh, the one who snuck up on you? Yep. Um, he's like, uh, yeah, um, uh, new human activity around here getting pretty hot. Might want to, uh, might want to hurry things up. As he, like, walks over to grab his gun. (laughs) As he's slowly (laughs) thinking about what he's done. Is there anything Mm -hmm. of interest on this guy? Uh... He appeared to have a uh, a shitty heavy pistol, so a poor quality heavy pistol. Okay. Um, and uh, he had an Ed stick with, uh, we'll say, 172 Eddies on it. Kind of looks, pockets the Ed, the the cred stick. There's nothing uh-huh. nothing of value on him. Uh no, he's well, mostly chrome shirt. Okay. So, no good info. All no, right. he's... Well, you do see one thing. You see a mark that is just a red circle with a black dot in the center. Hmm. Take my agent and take a picture of it. Yep. Um, All right. And kind of nonchalantly. Oh, and hey. Nice shot. Uh, thanks kind of takes the pistol and he kind of examines it and then he uh holsters it again and uh pulls out his binoculars his um, binoculars you know what i mean your just, binoculars. Give me shit. just give um, me shit but yeah oh absolutely goes back to probably look and say all right uh where are we on this building you guys are on the corner right now on the top floor on the top floor yeah Hmm. Are there any? Did we see any vehicles on here on the way up? Um, there were like a couple vehicles, but like most of them were vandalized pretty heavily. Okay. Yeah. Um, right, it is know, a war zone after all. True. A war zone led by shitheads. All right. You know the drill, or maybe you don't. So either way, this position's burnt. Got to find somewhere else. Like, oh, all right. Um, kind of radios in. Uh, Lucky and I are on the move, and um, he's gonna go over to the motorcycle and start it up. Okay, we don't have to go far. Maybe down a few floors, but yeah, move. Yeah, you uh, you take the motorcycle down probably like five floors. Yep, that works for me. That that should be about yeah. it. Okay, yeah. And now we cut back to the dream team. Uh. Scene. You see a couple people run up to the back of the van. Um, Amoke and Richter. Oh, I was like, excuse me? <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, they got a lot of drugs. Um, not only do they bring three duffel bags, but also they start unloading the duffel bags full of drugs and like taking stuff out of their own personal packs and throwing it in the back. Um... Yeah, and they're like, huh. uh, they're like, probably um, Richter is like, keep the car running. Uh, we're definitely going to have uh, what? How do they say a big win? And uh, immediately starts sprinting with the three bags as Amoke kind of just like yeah. finishes emptying out her pockets. Oh boy. Yeah. Um, I could leave right now. No. <laughs> she, she, uh you really could and you would make a lot of money um but uh yeah and we're going to then uh we we cut inside right uh and uh deltrick at this point is uh he's gone upstairs and is starting to unscrew the bolting on these machines right uh and spate he's like looking at you being like hey uh these are going to be pretty fucking tough to get down the stairs. Uh, we're going to need at least two people, probably a third. You, me, and Spade. That makes three. Oh, shit. All right. Well, fuck it. Works for me. As he, like, as one of his arms, which is currently being a wrench, is just like, jeep, 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 jeep. You know, like, pulling shit out of the ground. Um, And yeah. We are going to say... It takes, in total, to get all of the drugs out of here, if all of you help, 
two minutes. That would be four turns of action economy. You guys cool with that? Okay. Yeah. Does that include the machines or just the drugs? That's just the drugs. Okay. That's what I thought. Yeah. So you guys are running these down. Lucky, go ahead and give me one more perception check. Yeah. Y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, Mike. Yeah. Uh, Y'all. Why? Why? All right, Scav, notice something, please. Squirrel. Yeah. I can't right. always be on my best game. Right. No, Somebody's got to fill in for Daniel. Daniel. James. Right. Gone, but not forgotten. Let's see here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Scav kind of is looking down his side of the road. And then he looks over at you, Lucky, and then looks down the street and goes, hey, hey, and kind of like taps your shoulder and points down the road. And you're surprised you didn't see it. Um, it's one of them, But isn't down it? the, huh? It's one of them, isn't it? Go ahead. Yeah, it's an APC. Yeah, uh, fuck. Slowly rolling down the road. The APC sees the car crashed into the wall and stops. The APC stops for about one minute. Uh, Lucky, make me a stealth check. Yeah, they're looking for us. It's a good thing I put something into stealth. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, you duck down, um, and Scav ducks down as well. <laughs> and uh, Scav's like, uh, this is really bad, isn't it? Hold on, hold on. Um, is AP enough to punch through one of those things? No, they have <laughs> reactive plating. Yeah, that's what I kind of would have figured. Um, I mean, if you do enough damage to the front with a sniper rifle, you can punch through it, but that's going to be like, steel plate I think is 50 HP, just for the plate itself. Well, the problem is I can punch... It's just, they punch back harder. Um, yes. Damn it. Um, and something tells me Lucky does not want to be exploded again so soon. Well, let's just say it hurts enough to get out of bed in the morning, much less, yeah. Let's see. Here. Yeah. Um, it's okay uh, to lay low. What's that? It's okay to lay low. <laughs> well, yes. Uh, well, okay, so before I figure out what I'm going to do, tell Scav, let him know that the party's arrived. Actually, uh, I do have a question. Hmm. Okay. These uh, artillery pieces are literally bolted on there, right? Uh, they're welded on. You know what I mean. They're not... Yeah, yeah. They, they, do they have their own armor, or are they exposed? I mean, the arm, the artillery pieces are exposed, roughly. Do you want to take a called shot? <laughs> Spend that luck. All, your luck <laughs> All two of it, shot. yes. Um, yeah. I'm trying to remember how hard called shots are. Uh, let me go back to it. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a minus eight. Is it a minus me... eight? Uh, let's Where see, a called she... shot. We would call it as... So yeah, minus eight to your check. Jesus. Yeah, they're they're not easy. That's why like I thought it was kinda of dumb because like you're not gonna be doing called shots until we're much, much higher. Uh essentially it negates your skill, your your stat and you just have your skill points. Yeah, and then having to hit uh It's at about uh, two hundred meters. It's past the car at this point. All right, hold on. I'm thinking here. And he's going to be, hey, uh, one of those big fuckers just uh, drove up on the road. Uh, that's an issue, right? Like on the main radio. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Uh, maybe it's in Friday Night Firefight. What are you looking for? I need to see the table for heavy weaponry. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Um, like the range and everything. Yes. Just click the button. Yeah, yeah. but I don't. If it's a good roll, I don't want to waste it. <laughs> oh, here. Then I got you. I got you. Yeah. I'll click it. Uh, we're looking at. It was a grenade launcher, right? Yep. There's your DBs. Holy shit. Hmm. That's ridiculously bad. It's actually not too bad. It's just a... Yeah, well, yeah, having to get 100... within 25 yards of yeah, this fuck. monstrosity. Mm. To basically have to beat a 23. Yeah. Jesus. Uh... That means I would have to roll a nine. That's oh, not oh, gonna happen. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> ten plus ten plus. If four. I use my two luck, that means I need to roll a seven. I'm not feeling that lucky tonight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, lucky punk. Are you? Well, let's see here. False advertising. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, luck is such a mass stat. Like you only get to use yeah. it once per per session, and you can only get so much, like eight points. Well, I guess the it's thing really is, good for that one. That, that's point. enough yeah. to, to count it as a called shot uh, problem. Uh, the th- like called shots a minus eight. Yeah. 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 So if you had if you had eight an eight oh. um, in your luck yeah. stat. Valid. Uh, I'm just trying to... So is this a white wolf in these cars or new human? Oh, this is one of those uh, home hacked... uh, (laughs) New human? One of those home hacked new human Uh, fuckers. If it was a white wolf, I could deal with it. One of the six that you know of. Probably turn to Scav and go, Do you trust me? And he looks at you, and he's like, Uh, yes, princess? Rolls eyes. Because we're going to get on that motorcycle and lead it away from here. Takes a deep breath and... (sighs) Fuck, all right. He gets on, and he is going to... He is going to spend all four of his luck on this. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah! yeah! Uh, and he fucking whips that fucking tail around, right? Um, And fucking screams it down. He gets you within a hundred feet of this thing, honks the motorcycle horn a couple times, and goes... All right, which way you want me to go? Somewhere I can hit it with this, she says, patting the launcher, which the name of it has been turned away from him. Well, uh, at 100 feet, you're at 33 yards. You would only need to beat a 17. Well, I'm just, I'm not even going, well, <laughs> fuck. I mean, I guess if we're closer. running, my, my biggest thing was if I made a called shot, it was going to you know, give away our position. But since we're running anyways, I might just do it on the fly. Do it. So, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to fucking do. Uh, Hell as yeah. We, as we flash on by, uh, going to take a shot at it with the, yeah, grenade launcher. All right. If that's what you want me to do, I can do it. Oh, yeah. Uh, right. This is your choice. Uh <laughs> I'm going to spend both of my luck on this and try and make that called shot. Okay. Which means I need to beat a seven, guys. Yep. Oh! Oh, That's it. That's it. Three. You Uh, hit it? Yeah, 17 is exactly enough to hit. All right. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, no. No, because that was the called shot. I need to hit a 23. So. Yeah. So um, that's yeah. and that's a nineteen. So I probably yeah. hit them, but I don't hit the launcher. No, for sure. And uh, go ahead and roll your damage. I could still rock it. Still <laughs> respectable fucking damage. You punctured half of their uh, fucking 
half of their fucking what you call it uh, uh, armor armor that is true yeah yeah well, um, and that's what that's exactly how you deal with reactive armor you blow up the reactive armor and then yeah. have another shot on the way actually you know what we're gonna call this thin hp so yeah you blew up most of the front armor <laughs> so, yeah you launch a grenade and it blows up you just see like chunks of metal just fall off this thing uh and scav is uh basically he takes you by it on like a strafing run to where you're inside the range of the artillery however that does not mean uh you are not within range of the uh of the machine gun which we will count as heavy weapon <laughs> which does not hit thank nice. fucking god um yeah like fucking um you get like strafed with machine gun fire, but none of it catches you as uh, Scav is just like, fuck, 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 as he's just like dashing past it. Uh, yeah, you guys have just finished loading up all the drugs into the car when you hear a big fucking explosion after hearing this shit go on. Uh, Devlin, Hank is like, okay, I think I got the file we want. Uh, the name, the name of this guy, <clears throat> he's, um, the, he's like, um, sorry, give me one second. I have to go to, where is my fucking NPC sheet? Characters, there it is. Uh, he's like, he's like, yeah, I uh, found your guy. Apparently, uh, Mr. Darger was hiding under the name of, uh, he was hiding under the name of uh, Nancy Darger. How scandalous. Um, but yeah, Devlin, he says that he got the thing. Devlin. Hello, computer, computer king. Computer? Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. Oh, you're good, you're good. I feel you, I feel you. Um, yeah, no, uh, uh, Hacker Hank says, uh, yeah, apparently Mr. Darger... Uh, decided to check in under the name Nancy Darger. How scandalous. I think I have the file. Excellent. That's very good. Um, mm. We're going to be getting out of here soon. Uh, take a look on the uh, street cams and make sure nobody's coming our way. Uh, and at this point, you've been told there's an APC in the street yep. and uh, fucking... Lucky just launched a grenade into it, making a big kaboom. That's how you do a drive-by. <laughs> oh, yeah. Drive-by nuking. Yeah, right. Um, but yeah, you, uh, so yeah, um, scene, um, you hear this kaboom as well. Huh. Yeah. I wish I wasn't in the garage. I want to go out there and just see Scav just nailing that motorcycle ride. Yeah, <sighs> fucking you would you would be impressed. I would be impressed. I would. Yeah, I would be like he's going with us everywhere now. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, so uh, Richter, uh, for his part, is like, okay, heavy medical equipment, Devlin, Deltrick. We are big, strong men, right? Strong enough. Let's go. Chuk chuk ura, he says as he like <laughs> runs up the fucking stairs yes. and he's like hyping himself up. He's like, okay, this thing weighs like a fucking ton. I'll take that piece and you take that piece and you take that piece. Um, and we're gonna need strength rolls. Was strength a thing? Uh body, body. rolls. <laughs> So that's going to be, what, athletics rolls? There we go. High kicks, high kicks. This is how you do it. It's actually dex, but whatever. Um, wow. Wow. So I think that compensates because 25 is literally a god, is it not? This is how my body rolls. That's pretty good. Um, let's see what uh, Deltric rolls. Who rolled the 28? Uh, yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. 
Um, rolled a twenty-eight. Yeah, Richter did in fact oh, roll a twenty-eight. Right. He's decked out. Yeah. Oh, Richter isn't all that decked out. He's got oh. some board or not board. He's got some wet wear, but um, he just naturally has a very strong body. Dang. Um, yeah. So and a very very high dex. That's what the big thing is. Is he has like a super high dex. His dex is fourteen. I was like, how am I higher than Devlin on Dex <laughs> or on Athletics? No, his his Dex is fourteen. He has no tech and no intelligence and barely any body, Jesus. and one luck. So like, he's really he's a gunslinger build entirely, you know. Um, and he's got fifteen and cool because he's fucking Richter. He's cool. Um, Rude. yeah. So um. Uh, would you believe I still haven't allocated all of his skill points yet? <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, you get uh, between Richter and um, between Richter and uh, Deltrick, Devlin, you're you're supervising. Um, yeah, yeah. They get the first machine down the stairs pretty easy. The second machine goes down the stairs pretty easy as well. At this point, I would like another roll from uh, Lucky. On that grenade launcher. <laughs> His scav has taken you around for another pass. He's gotten even closer. He's gotten All you right. into uh, 25 foot range. Oh, Jesus. Um, or not 25 foot, 25 yard range. After seeing the damage, I'm just going to try and hit him. All right. Well, actually, no. Let's do another fucking called shot. There's literally no reason not to. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> no, you hit the cold shot. That's a, I, I thought it was a 23 to hit. Oh, uh, no, because it's a 15. Yes, yes. Wait. Is so, it, oh. yeah. Um, so, yeah, you fucking take that thing. You hit the, oh, yeah. Wow. You banana peel that thing. How are you? Um, <laughs> half of my roll look at the damage oh yeah no i know that it's not that much damage for you but that thing has an hp of 10 yeah uh so yeah you blow up the main gun on this thing um it flies off this vehicle is smoking and not doing great everyone inside the building here's another um as the uh thing just clatters onto the cement uh and a grenade goes through it um so, uh, yeah, Scav screams by this thing, right? He's just like, okay, 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 fuck! And just like, uh, you're starting to understand how he did, in fact, get in the Road Wardens, and you also probably know why he's not in the Road Wardens. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know Scav as a person, but this is some raw talent this kid's demonstrating. <sighs> fuck. I hate it. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> Throw over the radio. Sounds like Lucky gets to have some fun. Yeah. And just rev the car a couple times. <laughs> yeah. And it's about this time the car is fully loaded up. Uh uh Computer King, I'm assuming that you uh place the uh you take the dongle out. Yep. Okay. And and I'm ready to use the incendiary grenade absolutely you get everyone loaded into the van it is cramped as fuck um basically a quote unquote portable mri x-ray machine um and a uh archimedes style um an archimedes style uh fucking um surgery uh table has to lay on your guys's lap in the fucking van uh <laughs> So, uh, yeah, it's not comfortable, but you guys uh, all get into the van and scene. Now would be a good time to give me a drive check, see how fast you get everyone the fuck out of there. Or, as my old boss would say, the fizzuck out of there. I know it's uncomfortable now, but I guarantee you it would be worthwhile in the future. I'm going to make it oh, comfortable yeah. for all of you later. Okay, let oh, me yeah. and Scav, time to de-ass. Oh, yeah, and you guys fucking book 
Nice job scene. Scene, you cut through this area pretty well. Um, and uh, you quickly get clear of the med the majority of gunfighting, right? And you're immediately blending into the side streets and avenues that you know oh so well. Lucky. Scav looks back at you. He goes, uh, do we do another pass? What do you want to do? Lucky? I know. I'm thinking. Okay. Okay. Um, sorry. No, 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 no. I didn't. I did. That didn't mean to sound condescending. Oh no, no, no. I, just, I was just. I was apologizing because I apologized for everything. Yeah, you do. Um, True. See, the thing it would you have let me reload on the back of a speeding motorbike? Yeah. Okay. If you give this me game, dog, this game is rule of cool. Remember. All right, fair enough. <laughs> Drop two rounds into the back into the back of the thing. Yeah. Hey. Ooh, we, yeah. We're this far. Gav kind of oh, looks yeah. back, and through the terror, um, on his face, you can see a gleam of something in his eye, though, as he uh, kind of nods and goes, "Fuck, okay." And uh. 1d10 plus 11 plus six. Yeah! Hey! So yeah, Scav fucking books it dead on for this vehicle. Go ahead and make me your attack roll. Oh god. You are within the 15 dv range. Whoa! Ooh, go ahead and roll me that damage. Uh. Jesus. Lucky. That's a lot of damage. Lucky. How does it look as you destroy one of these six very important war assets for New Human? Oh god, I can just I, I can just see it. It's this little motorbike driving playing chicken with this APC. Yeah. The machine guns cranking around to shoot at us. Yeah. And I just right into this big dent we created with the first shot on the center of it and oh, the explosion yeah. just punches right through the metal straight into the ammo rack of this thing setting it off like a roman candle oh yeah this thing goes up you get the initial explosion of uh the shells they were loading into the artillery Kuthum! and then you just it sounds like fireworks this round zip off one zips right by your head right Jesus. as you're like driving <laughs> and scav zips past it. he's like holy shit fuck yeah as he like drives past bins and fucking drives down an alleyway um Jesus. you guys are booking it right um scene you go past a canal there is white wolf that are kind of ready at a barricade, but you just zoom right past them, well, right through them. I don't need them. to go past them. I just go over the canal. Huh? I have like hover. Dukes of Hazzard. No, I have hover vehicle. Oh, you have... Oh, hell yeah. You just <laughs> pop right over... I forgot it's a hover truck. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, you fucking... You guys just don't see me turn. I'm just going straight for the water. And right. I flip Sometimes a we'll switch. Like, um... <laughs> and I'm just like, Same. hold on to that equipment. Flip. Yeah, and you just the, oh, and it, the car kind of drops for a moment and then lifts up as we just go right out over the water. Oh, so cool. Uh, yeah. It's probably worth an upgrade point. <laughs> yeah, you you fucking go over the canal and you're safe. Uh, Lucky, uh, Scav is driving towards a canal that is starting to get raised as the area is going on lockdown because there was just a big goddamn explosion. Um, <laughs> are you sure yeah. we can make that? Lucky, do you trust me? No. I knew you were going to say that. <sighs> do I have a choice? Nope. And he hits it. It bumps and kind of hurts. But you sail over this fucking bridge. In fact, you sail so far, you actually cut over the fucking White Wolf vehicles, slam on the ground, and just tear off in the opposite direction. <laughs> right? Um, fucking, you guys are, like, booking. And he's just, 
Yeah! As he's going the whole fucking time, right? Street warden, huh? Yeah. He's like, I have my moments! And like, fucking, as he's driving. And finally, he drives like a few blocks, takes the, uh, slides to a stop, lets the motorcycle drop underneath him and you, right? Mm -hmm. And fucking stands up and just like stretches his arms like, oh, holy shit, that was so cool. Oh my God, we blew up a thing. And there was the other guys and you fucking took their heads off and I, sh I shot someone. And there was, we heisted it. Was, holy shit. Yeah, uh, when he lets the motorcycle out from under him and Lucky, uh, Lucky almost falls to the ground. <laughs> and he like walks and... over and like, oh, sorry. No, no, it, it's... It's fine. She says yeah, she's using to, her, her rifle as a crutch. Yeah, starts to, like, help pull her up and sort of thing. It, uh, it's, I'm fine. Hey, 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 it's cool. It's cool. Listen, it's <sighs> cool. That was incredible. You are incredible. How do you... And he just, like, leans <laughs> in and, like, immediately kisses you and then, like, goes back and Oh fuck, I'm sorry. Oh fuck, I'm sorry. Oh fuck. And he just like turns around and he just like, he's like, oh fuck, I'm so sorry. I just, there's like so much energy in the air and we just like, we almost died and just, oh fuck, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hold on, I need a minute. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's fucking great. Oh, yeah. he's such a hopeless idiot. Uh huh. He's such a hopeless idiot. He is. Uh, yep. Yeah, she let him go on for a minute, and then grabs him by the collar and kisses him. Hey, yeah, and like it's probably just like a tender moment. It's nighttime. There's gunfire in the <laughs> distance, but it's far enough behind you that no longer is it a worry, you know, and probably. For the first time in a long time, this area of New Amsterdam is seeing a genuine moment of humanity, right? Um, probably it stops and Scav, like, takes a step back and he's just like, are we about to get married? <laughs> wow. She just kind of looks at him with this... What? I'm fucking kidding. I'm sorry. God, Jesus you're, Christ. You're... She just kind of, I, um, let's just see how this week goes first. I'm not saying and he's no. Like, he's like, no, I, I was totally, uh, yeah, I was let's just kidding. Let's figure uh, out if I'm the marrying type first, huh? Kind of like, it's like, hey, yeah, nope, that, that works for me. Yep. Uh, yeah. And, uh. Come on, goofball. I have. A cane to go retrieve. Yeah, and uh, maybe you guys get back on the motorcycle um, and start to ride back uh, to the location. Um, those of you in the van, you have already arrived. Um, and, uh, yeah, like, basically, um, like, uh, fucking, um, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, you're you're unloading the shit. You probably have a couple of the bar hands pulling pe uh, pulling stuff out. You know, um, and uh, yeah, this is a successful heist. Um, you guys are starting to count, and um, things that you have. So I am going to paste in chat. So we are gonna do. Uh, how many pills would fit in, how many individual pills would fit in a duffel bag? Um, like, well, let's see. I've got a bottle of pills here. Uh, each one, well, what's 2000? that? Are they the round kind or? They're the round kind. kind. Okay. So the round kind, I've got a hundred tablets and a bottle the size of my hand. Call so, it. And that's like, that didn't fill half, that's like half the bottle because, you know, they stuff it with cotton. Right, right. We'll, we'll call it probably, what, 8,000 doses? Yeah, probably. Okay, so, 
So you've got 8,000 doses of that. You've got... Uh, oh, you've yeah, got... for stream's sake, it's not drugs, drugs. It's, it's acetaminophene. Oh, no, this is, this is uh, cytoclopene. I, I was saying, is... like, because I have drugs right here, and I was like, wait. Oh, yeah, 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 I got you, I got you. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you have 8,000 doses of cydroclopine. You have, uh, you have uh, let's see here. Uh, we'll say you have 25, god damn it, doses of sludge, 25 doses of twister. You have 25 doses of e-tilt. 25 doses of lightning, 10 doses of third eye, uh, 50 doses of amphoplex, uh, 100 doses of hydropazel, which is a uh, painkiller, uh, uh, let's see, for Tasu, you have 10, we'll say 5 doses, because that's a pretty rare and expensive drug. And then you have 100 doses of Fizz. You guys found a lot. Um, for Dorf, you have uh, 50 doses. For Glitter, you have 50 doses. And we're gonna say, uh, we're gonna say that you have that, and then you also have, uh, we're gonna say that you also have uh, detox kits, one thousand. So yeah, you have a lot of drugs uh, right now. You're unloading all of that. You're getting some of the uh, machinery into the thing, which, by the way, I'm going to update the. Uh, I'm going to update the. Um, the uh, where is the hideout stats? I'm going to update oh, Tartarus oh. here. Okay. Operating room. The, the group inventory with the drugs. Oh yeah, I'm doing the hideout stats. Yeah, yeah. So that's a different thing, right? Yes. Okay, gotcha. Plus four. First aid and uh, what's the other medical skill again? Paramedic. Okay, so you have a plus four to first aid and paramedic now. Um, yeah, you guys are getting all of this taken out. The manager of the club, fucking uh, Boris, is like, just like, holy shit. Hold on. This is one hell of a fucking hole. Um, and as you're kind of getting this unloaded, uh, Lucky and Scav pull up on a motorcycle. Uh, Scav kind of, uh, stops and, uh, looks at Lucky and goes, Hey, I need to, uh, get rid of this thing. I'm gonna go dump it in the Amstel. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Thinking like kinda. an edge runner already. He's like, Trust me, I've done my own share of bikes. Kind of smiles. <laughs> Whatever you say. Yeah. And uh, he uh, kind of lets you off and kind of shyly kind of nods and then drives off. And uh, who wants to make some human perception checks? Goofball. Oof, me, 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 me. Go for it. I'm not focused enough on dividing up the drug, so I don't have a clue. Yeah. Uh, scene? Oh, yeah. It, like, maybe Lucky isn't quite giving it up, or maybe she is. Uh, <laughs> for sure, you can tell something happened with Lucky and Scav. Yes. That's one yeah. APC down. Yeah. And, uh, Hank comes out of his fucking cave and is like, I cannot, you are all over the fucking scream sheets. Somebody snapped a pic! What are you talking about? Let me see. Yeah, some fucking news, and, like, they get a pic, and it's of you and Scav. Scav's face is not shown, but your face is shown. Uh, 
firing a grenade launcher, and it's the perfect shot of when the grenade launcher blew up the APC. It's like, you're a veritable fucking superstar right now. Oh. Wow. Kind of looking at the picture. Hmm. Wow. There we go. I guess that Isn't... complicates matters. Yeah, probably. How did but, uh, I see him? See who? The person who took this. Oh. He didn't just happen to stroll by at the most cinematic moment. He definitely followed us, knew we were going to be there. Oh, you see, sometimes when the DM wants something to happen, someone just materializes and it happens. <laughs> Sorry, continue. Well, I'm feeling It's shaped like a CD! <laughs> oh, God. Great. All right. Well, did we at least make it out with a good haul? I maneuver my hand like freaking Ivana White or whatever from uh, uh, Wheel of Fortune. I'm like, yeah, Ivana White. Be for yourself. <laughs> Uh, and lucky yeah um, there's two new machines a bunch of fucking drugs yeah we're good yeah and lucky allow me to uh tell you that the only words that can come to your head is that is a fuck ass shit ton amount of drugs <laughs> how much uh... i don't know if their own i don't know if they're your own words or gruce's words but most definitely those are the words that come to your mail to your to your brain <laughs> Yeah, it, that was probably gruesome. Yeah. Now, a dose, an average dose of drugs from the PDF is anywhere from 10 to 50 a dose, depending on rarity. So yeah. So, like, antipsychosis, I don't know if that's a rare or common, but that alone with 8,000 doses is, is 80,000 creds if you do the minimum of 10. Oh, yeah. Which one of these is, is it hydropazel that's the morphine stand-in? Painkiller, yes. Yes, that's the painkiller, yeah. Uh, I'll take 20 doses, if that's all right with you guys. That's fine. As long as you're not taking them all at once. <laughs> hey, um, you can't tell um, me what to do. I mean, I can 20, kill your character for it, though. 20 doses of You've already tried. I'll, uh, I'll take... 20 off the sheet. All right, it's updated. Excellent. Okay, I'm just putting these down here. Okay. So oh, and I need to re reduce one of my incendiary uh, grenades. All right, now that I can see it, what's staying, what's going? I see we brought some machines with us. Those are my new toys. So those stay. Gotcha. Okay. Let's. I'm she looking says, over the drugs to see which ones I need to. I can take a few to keep here, especially those pain meds. I can keep a lot of those. Um, sure. You choose um, what you want to keep. I'll see what kind of buyer I can work up to get the to sell for the rest. Yeah, and, and I, um, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. So I'm just trying to think here. Um, I just looked this up to sell this. Well, no. So to find this kind of shit, it's, uh, it's streetwise. Right. What would you like so me to do? So to sell it, it would sell. also be streetwise. Sell streetwise. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, well, she's got room to grow in that. Sure. That's the best way to put it, honestly. Yeah. Let's see. Hold on. A fixer who doesn't know the streets? What are you, some kind of mook? Well, considering it's my first time ever building a character in this system. <laughs> Valid. All right. Well, there we go. Uh, it's about as well, good as you'll get from me. That's not a bad roll, though. No. Um, yeah, so uh, you... Uh, you take a look around, and we'll say that you know a guy. Um, do you want to come up with a, come up with a name or me?
Y'all see that gray? All that gray? That's why I've got the hover wheels. Yeah, right? No joke. Uh, Gunner, you might be muted. I heard. I saw your mouth talking. Oh, sorry. But... Um, since uh, we are back on the map page, would you like me to go back to our phases? Sure. Okay. So, while we figure this out, we're going to take another one-minute ad break, ladies and gents. All right, one minute. All right. Nice. There we go. I just need to reload that. Okay. So. Yeah. How much? So we're trying to offload all of this. So, uh, spate. <laughs> Things that would do your character good would be um, the hydropazel would do your character good. Um, the si uh, the cydroclopine uh, is very good. Uh, like it is, uh, it is not rare. It's pretty well regulated though, and uh, basically it is what the city believes is holding it back from complete and utter cyber psychosis. Um, it's like it's the main program for people who are like, oh fuck, my whole goddamn like world is like dying, you know. Um, like, my, my robot arm wants to kill me. Um, shit like that. And then the Amphoplex is going to help because it's a steroid. Let's see. I don't have a drugs guy, do I? Um, you don't yet. Um. Alright, well, if you want to make one for me, we are back. Yeah. By the way. Excellent. So... We're going to say the guy that you know, his name is Score, right? Actually, it's a her. I have too many male NPCs right now. I'm going to balance it out with a female NPC. Their name um, is what? Score. Their name is who? Their name is Chicka Chicka oh. Slim Scorty. Okay. All I heard, we weren't getting the S or the C. We were just getting or. Oh, or. sorry. <laughs> and I was like, what kind of name is this? I dig it. Yeah. You know, right now we have set the scene, get the score, get lucky. Oh, yeah. Jesus. I love that. So, that being it's said. Straight on the ground. <laughs> that being um, said. The, the um, devil's the details. Yeah. So, ah! <laughs> Sorry, continue. So, I have a little thing that okay. uh, whenever I successfully haggle, I can negotiate the pay per person for a job. Oh, wait, no, that's for a job. Never mind. Oh, well. So, yeah, um, looking at this, score is like, you call up score, and how do you do this conversation, right? More or less, hey, score, it's me. I got yeah. some stuff you might be interested in. It's a little hot, but then again, it's from South Canal. She's like, Canal South. Holy shit. Yeah, they could probably Who got it to you? Got it. No, I think found it it fell off a truck huh. or an apc rather wait and then like you hear her pause and she looks at the thing they're never gonna know holy shit well where's it posted up i need to see it if i'm gonna deal it mm, let's see yeah. scarlet is back in town scarlet is back in town well all right We'll start on mutual ground. Let's start in Tartarus. Yeah. And then I'll take you to where it is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Tartarus. She's like, yeah, absolutely. Um, be there in a be there in a tick. And uh, yeah, she uh, shows up pretty quickly. Comes in the front door of Tartarus. Is Tartarus still operating right now, or have you shut what it down? What time of day night? is it? Uh, it's nighttime. It's like two in the morning. It's operating. Oh, yeah. It's in full swing. It was Hell like yeah. two in the morning. Isn't that the time when most clubs are bumping? Yeah. Um, yeah, Scene's going to recommend something, by the way, with these drugs. Yeah, so, uh, okay. So just, in, just in passing, like, let's avoid passing him off through our club. Not because I want to avoid the police, but once we run out, it's going to piss off the wrong people. Until we can get a steady supply, we should 
Make sure we don't make it seem like we have them. Well, that's why most of it's for, well, our doctor here. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so, uh, <clears throat> what, what stuff do you want to keep there, Spade? Uh, he subtracted uh, everything, I think, so far. I know he took a thousand antipsychosis and 100 detox kits. Oh, nice. Uh, 30 of the painkillers, and I don't know what else changed. I wasn't fully watching. Okay, I'll look at the group inventory here. I did the 15 of those uh, Ampo whatever. Oh, Ampo Info flags, flags. Really yeah. Oh, yeah, and we need to take 20 off the hydropazel for I Lucky. No, oh, no, you no, already no. did? Okay, sick. And then he took 30 down to 50. Okay, nice, nice. Um, uh, no sludge. Okay. Oh yeah, there we is. have sludge. Yeah, twenty-five. Uh, Do you want it? Might as well for scav. Yeah. All right. So yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna take the uh, sludge off the inventory, I will put it on my character sheet. Perfect. Now, I'm thinking antipsychosis, <laughs> cyclopine, pretty common. We could sell it in bulk, get a good amount. Oh yeah, With the um, but yeah. So um, you guys, uh, you you see, um, you see, uh, what's her name? Um, Score. She walks in the door, and um, she's got that kind of like half cut, you know, that very popular with women in cyberpunk half cut, mm -hmm. um, that Billy Zane from Fifth Element ass half cut. Um, and then, um, her hair is like bright, uh, we'll say it's bright green. Yeah. She, uh, kind of walks in the club with a swagger that just is like very, you know, like very fucking ugly a swagger. Um, I was going to say it, the way I'd like for this to go guys is that you guys will just meet us down there. I will meet her first, get her in the door and then take her down to see the stuff. Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah, so she walks in and... Um, yeah, I'm sitting at the bar, cane in hmm. hand. Still in the Looks... black pants suit and floppy hat. Right. Walks over and goes, shit, you're fresh from this shit. Yeah, and she motions bartender for two um, uh, two shots, I guess. Yeah, Pierre uh, probably is like, oh, what kind of shots would you like? Give us the nice stuff. We're doing business. Understood. And uh, he uh, pulls from under the uh, bar. He pulls that same bottle of uh, that same bottle of very nice uh, brandy that you guys um, got to try that first time around. Yeah. Uh, his personal bottle. Pour some. And uh, since he did that, I do the finger gun thing and shoot him a hundred eddies because it's his own personal shit. Oh, he takes that and uh, says, ah, thank you, mademoiselle. Would you like some privacy? Please. Nods and uh, he goes off to the other patrons. Yeah, and takes a shot and kind of looks at a score and kind of raises it. Yeah, oh yeah. Definitely tosses it back. Whew, that's the good shit. You can tell that that was made by actual grapes. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right, so this your joint? This? No, I'm just friends of the people who own it. Mm. Nice. So um. that, she kind of stands with her cane and goes, "So you want to see it?" Well, absolutely, I'd love to. All Sounds right. good to me. Yep. And then probably instead of you know, ex probably what she's expecting is leaving here to go somewhere else. We'll just go right yeah. downstairs. Starts to walk and, uh, you know, follow in. And you guys, you get into the little storage area. Mm -hmm. um, well, it's not so little. It's a basically a, a, a indoor parking lot, yeah. you know, a little warehouse. Um, she sees the pallet of drugs that has been organized for her. Uh, probably multiple pallets so that she can pick everything apart separately. Kind of looks and... You were not joking. 
I got a list if you want. Kind of looking at everybody else. By the way, score, these are friends. Friends, score. Hi, friends. Uh, oh. And she pulls out a small device. It's like, cool if I test it all. Be my guest. Or our yeah. guest. <laughs> I didn't she, do it all uh, myself. Oh, yeah. She uh, goes in and starts uh, starts uh, checking shit out, you know? Um, like, uh, and maybe while she's checking shit out, you get a text from, uh, you get a text from uh, Scav that just said, like, hey, ended up going home. Tell me if you need me. No ride. We'll take bus. Like. <laughs> yep. Just kind of send him in a firm. Yep. Um, yeah, and maybe you're kind of distracted while she's doing that, kind of yep. looks around and, like, well, most of the shit's good. Unfortunately, can't really do much about the cydroclopine. Ain't my racket. But, uh, oh, be more than we, happy. Did we mm -hmm. not take any of that? No, you took the cydroclopine. Okay. It's just, it's there's just still like 7,000 like doses on the thing. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, you guys got 8,000 8, doses in total. Oh, we took 1,000 doses of the shit. Yes, I oh, did. Yeah. shit. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, is it shelf stable? Yeah, it'll hold. I'll take uh, everything except for the detox kits, cydroclopine. Eh, I could probably offload that amphoplex and hydropazel. Um, looking at this... Probably, and she actually pulls out a calculator, conveniently because Michael also needs to pull out a calculator. <laughs> Let's see here. Plus 10 plus 100 plus 50 plus 50 times 10. She's like, I can give you 3,800 eddies for, uh, for all that. <laughs> Hold on. All right. Uh, what would I need to roll to uh, figure out how fair of a deal that is? How close to street market that is? That would definitely be a streetwise. Okay. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's not great prices. Uh, it doesn't seem like you're getting punked prices. Right. Right. <sighs> but like, this is definitely a bulk rate. Sure. You know. Um, trying to think here. So he, she said thirty eight hundred. You don't know how much it's worth. You know that's a little low though. Yep. Can I make like a, a little low? It's it's on yeah, par did, for buying shit very low. Someone else with better streetwise yeah. than I. Go right well, ahead. I don't know if I have better streetwise, but um, where is streetwise? Because oh, she I mentioned it to all of us, and this is all of our gigs. Oh yeah. yeah. Does uh, computer oh. have? Com does Devlin Jesus. have good streetwise? Um, let me look. Streetwise is. Oh, it's no, kind of funny. Nine. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's funny. better than mine. Go ahead. Dove had great streetwise. Well, because oh, yeah. that was his thing. Yeah, yeah, Dove of all would know the most about drugs, like selling uh -huh. drugs. I I smuggled them. I didn't really do much with it. Yep. Like selling yeah. them. Does Devil want to? Okay. <laughs> Spate knows drugs, but he doesn't know how much they cost on the street. Oh, yeah. Devlin! Devlin! For the rescue! <laughs> all right. Absolutely. Devlin, um... You know that these drugs, a fair bargain uh, for these drugs would be like basically double that, like 7,600. Nice. That'd be a fair bargain. She's not, she's not saying fuck you, but see, she certainly ain't shaking your hand on even ground. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You, hey, this is our stuff, not just mine. You guys can. Just 
like, fuck if I know. Uh, yeah. Well, that doesn't sound like a good price. There, perhaps uh, a bit more. Or do you have some other favor you might want to uh, promise us for this uh, shipment? She's like, well, I ain't not one to, you know, loan out favors. How much are you thinking with a bit more? Well, if I wanted to be good to you, I'd be thinking five. Huh. Mm. If you wanted to be good. I are you uh, in a good mood? I'm in a pretty good mood right now. So let's think about all who needs to get paid for this job. Oh, by the way, Lucky, take 12 credits out um, for the rental of the bike. Oh. You're not getting your security deposit back on it. <laughs> but the security deposit is literally 10 eddies. So it's like, yep. whatever. Let's see. I'm trying to I feel think. good, but maybe I'll ask for a seven. Uh, she's like, go ahead and make me, uh, make me some sort of roll for that. Like, uh, like uh, something to convince. Like, maybe persuasion. Yeah, persuasion will do it. Hey. Yeah. She's like, kind of mulls it over and goes, Yeah. I could do seven. I think I could do seven, yeah. Kind of thinks and then looks at uh looks at uh lucky is like let me call some guys uh you got a loadout area absolutely Round yeah back. She, yeah and she uh texts somebody on her agent and then um takes the agent and fucking breaks it and tosses it in a trash can goes uh looks at uh lucky and is like who am i paying you I mean, you are the fixer, so you would be the one that would get the money and then split it up. All right, I can do that. So she sends you seven grand, seven thousand bigs, okay. or seven bigs, seven eds, or seven thousand eds. All right. So how many of us do we actually need to split this up among? Are there eight uh, of us or nine of us? So there's Scene, Devlin, Spade, you, Hacker Hank, um, Deltrick. And uh, I will Scav? tell you now, Scav is probably going to be like, no, I don't need the money. Jesus Christ. Um, well, what about your uh, people, uh, Devlin? Oh, yeah. Well, do they get paid by the corporation thing? They do, yeah, but... And, and a little extra for, from me. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to give them. So do we want to throw them both in there? Because that makes a... Throw them both in for a half share. So that makes seven. seven. Yeah. So uh, that means everyone gets a thou ends? Yep. Okay. So I can do that. I spent 1500 but I still have most of the supplies. I bought grenades, essentially. Oh, I'm nice. having arrows. So. That puts me pretty much back to where I was. Looks like uh, we're in for another night market here eventually. What do you guys think? Another what? Another night market. If there's anything people need to grab that's hard to find. That's... Uh, I don't know. The nice thing about that is we can always find super luxury items. Or is it even better than that? I'm always able to find... Uh, can always find a place to source up to super luxury items. So, yeah. But, that being said, uh, yeah, she just... I think that works just fine for me. Yeah. And uh, the deal goes off without a hitch, of course, you know. You've got uh, everybody is uh, taken care of money-wise... The uh, the um, drugs get loaded out. There's no problems, right? Um, I think that uh, we'll get all that taken care of. And we'll do a little bit of a wind-down exercise here. So it's after all of this has happened. First, 
We'll start with uh, Devlin. Devlin, you send off an email. The hacker Hank sent to you. You forward the email essentially. Yeah. Uh, that has the file about your boss and all corroborating evidence off to your new boss. Meet the new boss. Not quite the same as the old boss. Um, you also get, um, like, you send that off, and maybe we see um, Amoke and uh, Shia. Like, Amoke kind of, like, straightens out her clothing and that sort of thing, and takes her payment and heads off, and she gets on a motorcycle and rides off to wherever she rides off to. Shia gets in her car and uh, drives uh, to drives you to your uh, your house um, and drops you off, you know. Yep. And uh, oh, go ahead. I, I was just going. Yep. And uh, how does Devlin unwind after this night? Uh, Devlin unwind. Uh, let's see. Music, definitely yeah. music, a nice, Hell yeah. calming jazz, and a nice glass of brandy. Nice, yeah. And we get that scene of uh, we get that scene of Devlin, you know, sipping brandy, listening to jazz in a dimly lit room, you know. And then we cut to Spate. Spate, uh, all these drugs have been packed away in your area. The rest of the drugs are kind of wherever they need to be, you know. Um, and uh, at this point, you know, everyone's kind of cleared out. You're the last one in uh, the operating room in Tartarus. What are you doing? Um, working on setting up the new equipment where it needs to be um, to be used when we need it. Yeah. And uh, maybe maybe Devlin's music is jazz music. We'll we'll say that it's uh, we'll say that it's Round Midnight by Wayne Shorter. Uh, is kind of playing as it cuts across what you're doing, kind of setting these machines up and calibrating things in an empty room that's kind of sterilely lit. And then we cut over to Scene. Scene, you're back in the van at this point. Uh, she needs a fill, you know. Yeah. Um, maybe you're at a gas station kind of filling it up. Um, what are you kind of doing while you're doing this? Uh, not smoking. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> For once. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, probably just browsing her agent, just sitting there, filling it up. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of a. God, I can't remember names. Who's uh? What's his? What are uh? Devlin's this is the. Amoke and Shia. You know the door opens. Amoke gets out. No, I'm kidding. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, we're gonna be best friends. She's oh, absolutely! So I love it. Uh, and yeah, just browsing the agent, probably shooting a couple messages to the family, probably filling them in. Like, yo, you know, if you guys need some uh, antipsychosis, I know not many of them use a lot of uh, cyberware, but you yeah, know, they can always hit us up. Detox kits, I can help help them out with that. Because what what all did we sell? By the way. You sold I know we everything have... but the detox kits and the uh psychosis or and the psychosis stuff. Okay. That's what I thought. So we're just down to those two. Yeah, so like probably hit letting them know, hey, if you guys need some cyclo cyclopine or detox kits, hit me up. Sure. Get your and we <laughs> Right. And we get that shot that's kind of over over the shoulder watching the text of like got new gear in, whatever. Right. Uh and then we go to uh we go to Deltric, kinda maybe Deltric uh, is walking home. He gets on a bus and you know, we see a couple people kind of shoot him some sidelong glances and somebody kind of starts fucking with him and he punches him in the nose, right? And then gets off the bus in a hurry. Uh we cut to Richter, who uh is uh hitting his vape and walking literally down the street from Tartarus into just another nearby club, right? Um, you know, probably a more skin-oriented place. Uh, 
and we catch Hacker Hank plugging himself in as like the, the data stream kind of goes over his eyes again. Then finally, as we get to kind of the, um, the we've gotten past like the solo section, we get back to the head again. Um, and we see Lucky uh, and uh, Scav. And uh, Lucky, you just got home. Scav is uh, on the bed. Um, he is definitely taking sludge and is just kind of laying there like oped out as fuck, you know? What does Lucky do? Uh, just kind of looks at him, smiles and shakes her head. And then she makes a call. Ooh, who does she call? Who else? Valencia. Okay. Yeah. You call Valencia. And uh, you hear uh, you hear on the phone, um, Marcin. Valencia, Auntie. I suppose I have some explaining to do. That would be one way to put it. Well, we're down one APC, five to go. Accurate math statement. Well, that should tell you I'm not completely out of my gourd. But this does give me an idea of how to handle the rest. And what would that be? How often do we deal with river rat car bombs? Enough to make them? What are you planning? Well, armor is only as good as long as it holds up. We're vulnerable to high explosives. Yeah. And she's like, hmm. Not a bad idea. Also, slick moves with the uh, with the street wardens. Well, are we actually going to support them, or are we letting that die on the table? Well, they're helping us for right now. And they're suffering for it. Linnaeus is under attack from the south. They're holding plantage, but just barely. What do we need to do? We'll to see how it turns out. Hmm. What do we Sorry, need to do ahead. to relieve the pressure? Well... I think what you did tonight did a whole hell of a lot. Word is, White Wolf has decided that now, that a hard target is down, they feel a little bit more safe pushing incursions. Good news, they're now watching the, the canals. Bad news, they're now watching the canals. Well, we always had to expect something like that would happen. Yeah. Listen. There's going to be a big table meeting soon. How would you like to sit in? I knew you'd ask something like that eventually. You really well, want someone like me that's... Well... Not really family there. Marcin. Out of all of the bluster that I believe about this group, there is one thing that I disagree with on a core principle. That's that you can find family. What? In You're going case, to be... Yeah. In that case, as long as you don't mind someone with a cane wandering around, might as well be there. Half of them got them. Fair you'll enough. fit right in. Before <laughs> I know it, you'll be drinking. Uh, before you know it, you'll be drinking whiskey that tastes more like the barrel than the liquid, and uh, reminiscing about the good old days on me. Yeah, like I could see myself doing that, but the thought is nice. All right, I'll be there. Yeah, Groose gonna and, be there. Uh, you think I take Groose to big table meetings? No. Just wondering if I'd have something else to rub in his face. And she kind of, you actually do get a chuckle out of her out of that. Was, all right. 
Anything else to report? Nope. All right. Well, Marcine, have a good night. You as well. We'll get better soon. <laughs> Do my best. And yeah. Yeah. I can leave it like that. Hell yeah. And probably at this point, the music cuts back in at the louder volume when we get the da 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 sort of thing, like with the big flourish at the very end. And we are going to go to sign-offs. First things first, let's get Devlin. <laughs> I'm the Computer King, the supervillain of streaming. And when I'm not uh, planning heists that uh, go off without a hitch, I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm doing things like being that in That is uh, two in a row. Mondays. It's two in a row that have gone without a player death. That's... Actually, without a player death, that's three in a row. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. Third time's the charm. Fourth time someone dies. Right. Yeah. No. So I'm in Fire Shrank on Mondays, and right now I'm uh, Wednesdays is not happening. We'll see if I can't uh, get something going by, like maybe the. During the week before October, I might be able to run the Degenerates. It's good for a horror game to be run around that time. Mm. If I can't find any more players, I will run it then, for sure. And uh, I stream as the Computer King. I uh, put up videos as Computer King on YouTube. So just look for me around. I'm the Computer King. I can do anything. Hell yeah, you can. All right, excellent. Let's go next to a scout. Okay, so I'm Scott, and I played Very Happy Dr. Spate because he's got new stuff, lots of drugs. He can help a lot of people now. Ooh. I don't know what else to do with that, but yeah, that's good. Um, the other thing I'm in, I play Xander on Fire Strike even though I didn't last Monday because we were doing the big battle thing, and that was kind of cool. But whatever. It's awesome. <laughs> um, I don't recall being anything else at the moment, and we'll see if there is other stuff later, I guess. <laughs> Sick. All right, excellent. Uh, next, let's do scene. Yo, 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 what's up? Yeah, what's up? I played scene. It's great. Uh, we got to blow up the building and steal a bunch of drugs. Uh, but yeah, um, you can catch me here. Oh, whenever games return, but right now it's this day and on Mondays for Fire Strike. Yeah, that's it right now until some more games start returning. Hell yeah. And that brings us to a gunno. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sarah Smith. Today you caught me playing Lucky, who, despite behaving like an ornery child of 12 with, you know, all the temperament of, I, I guess, I don't know, a pissed off rhinoceros, um, today went well. It, it, I, I got to blow up a thing, so that always makes me happy. By the way, True. XP, how'd that go? Ah, yes. IP time. <laughs> Let me pull up my IP chart. Oh, uh, everybody give yourself uh, one rep, except Lucky, you give yourself two rep. Fuck yeah. Okay, uh, so, by the way, rep. Rep works a little odd. You actually don't keep continuing the ad rep. So every time we do something, we gain rep from one to ten, and it overrides the current rep unless it's lower oh. so and it can be good or bad so you can if we do something really really bad we could get four bad rep and that'll override our good rep so anyone who meets us can roll a 1d10 and if they roll below that rep table they recognize us but in the bad way so yeah yeah good job uh right now we're at two reps so if we think if you think what we've done is better than anything we've done before you'd bump you'd say okay you all have three rep now okay it's weird. If you do something, if we do something minor, but we still get IP, you could say, oh, well, you'd have, you'd get two rep, but you're at three, so 
people are going to know you for this anyway, for this other thing anyways. Huh. And they'll just connect it. It's weird. I was reading it earlier. Well, um, so, yeah, yeah, I get you. I get you. What right, that, um, would, that would put most of us at three and, and Lucky at four, which would make sense for yes. everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You guys went into a war zone and stole a bunch of drugs. That's pretty great. Um, so three rep for all of you, except for Lucky, who has four rep. Right. Um, and then as for IP, I need to pull up the IP table. Go ahead and do your sign off as I do IP. No worries. Uh, just planting a bug in my DMs here about that kind of stuff. You can also find me on Mondays playing Twinkle Bailey. And right now, um, I might have some movement in jobs, n not of my own choice, but hey, here we are. Um, so, yeah, uh, uh, Cosmos might be making a comeback, um, although with James being gone, I may switch to some other project I've been working on mm -hmm. for a while. So, that being said, uh, that is me. All right, that brings it to me. I'm waiting for the, the core book to load for me. Uh, I am in the IP section, I believe, roughly. I'm in, like, page 424. That's probably roughly the right area. Um, but, yeah. Um, hello, everybody. We are first going to get a post credit scene, and then we're going to get IP. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we go to a warehouse. It is nighttime, uh, and we see... Uh, we see a familiar face again. Uh, we see good old Lucan. Lucan says, What do you mean? We lost one of the APCs. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. We, uh, it got blown up. Oh, okay, okay. I thought that we lost the APC. Like, Somebody was stupid enough to park it in the wrong area. But no, instead, what happened? You're telling me that instead of the more likely option that somebody parked the APC in the wrong area, it got, and I quote, blown up. Kind of like the, the, the new human dude in front of him is like, uh, yeah. It got blown up. He goes, Get out of here before I do something to you that you're going to regret. And the guy just fucking, like, bolts immediately, right? He's like, fuck that shit, right? Uh, and Lucan kind of grabs his phone. Kind of. All right. Herringbone. Yep. How is the project going? Good? Good. Well, I want to see him up and running. No, I want to see him tomorrow. No, I'm not willing to wait a week. Okay, three days? Fine. Three days. You know I appreciate you. All right. Get to it. He hangs up, sets the phone down. Someone walks in. Uh, like, he, he, like, starts to take a drink of, like, a nice liquor, and someone walks in and goes, Sir, I have news. And just, like, the bottle flies out and smashes in his face. He says, I told the last of you to get the fuck out of here. And the dude, like, climbs to his fucking knees and, like, whimpers and as he fucking leaves. Just kind of, like, moves his hair. Goes. It's okay. And pulls up a picture on his computer. And it's the picture of Lucky firing a grenade. Everything is going to be okay. Visualize your goals. And he just looks at the thing with just pure malice in his eyes. 
and hello everybody my name is mike also known as win five get one free tonight you caught me playing the dm for this game you can catch me playing anything what you think i am some kind of player don't i ain't a player but don't play me um how many bad references can i fit in here anyway um you guys uh also can catch me um on Mondays, where I play X Paralector Burn Ward. I was not here this Monday because I was feeling the big sad. But after that, uh, you can catch me there. Um, I think that that's about all I'm in. Uh, alongside that, you can also, uh, if you are currently watching this on Twitch, we love you so very much. But you also could be watching us on YouTube again and again and again and again and again because we are on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash pair o dice theater. Um, if you are currently watching you, us on YouTube, we love you. However, what are you doing, silly goose? You could be watching us live. Come on now at twitch.tv forward slash pair underscore O underscore dice underscore theater. And if you're a community member who enjoys being interacted with, you are a big fan of the hot, sex and fast, hot, fast and sexy world of uh, scheduling and updates on scheduling. And you happen to be, you know, someone who may or may not enjoy hot memes catch us at pear theater um on twitter my name is mike catch me on soundcloud under michael burley and that is me and from all of us here let's do a r.i.p apc and get on out of here R-I-P-A-P-C. <laughs> no, <fuck> <laughs>